It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no! Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I'm gonna go. Oh my God, why? All right, let's go to the proof of grounds. We're gonna now clean up. Oh my God! Shit, that's creepy. Like, oh, oh my god! Onward. And like up or downward. I don't know, we gotta look. Temp ah! <laughs> ah! Fine. Thanks for stopping by. Ah! Ah! Did, didn't even have to hit an extra button. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm Milk and I'm DM Jazzy Hens. We will soon be playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Happy Tuesday. Uh, how are we all? I hope you all are well. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Uh, and Monday, if yesterday was business as usual. Holiday, if you were fortunate enough to have yesterday off for President's Day here in the States. Uh, I, you know, spent all day editing tomorrow's TLR episode, so... No day offs, yeah. Um, I'm very excited to be here. It is nice to be back. It is nice to wander around. It's going to be nice to wander around the Andromeda Galaxy again. Uh, and as some of you may have caught on the tweeters, uh, Steamforge Games, a uh, colleague of mine over there, was kind enough to send me some stuff uh, from, from them. Hello, Steph. Uh, and we're gonna look at it today. Uh, I've got four boxes of Epic Encounters, which, as I understand, are basically, um, D&D, well, D&D, but in theory, system agnostic, I think, although most of the stat blocks are D&D based, um, but D&D Encounters in a box. So it's got all the minis you need, it's got tabletop mats, uh, or maps, uh, map mats, that's terrible. Uh, little books with, like, tactics for the monsters and a little bit of, like, narrative story for the Nat One Fun. What is up? Hello, friends. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, y'all. Um, 07 always gets Monday off. Look at that. Hey, Cher. Welcome on in. Glad you're here. Hello, hello. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to open those up today uh, and take a peek at what's inside, the goodies inside. And then we also, they also sent us, a, very, very kindly, also sent me uh, Animal Adventures, uh, which is like a beginner level, although you could probably zhuzh it up for more advanced players, beginner level D&D uh, uh, &D compatible animal adventurer party adventure thing. Um, and four boxes of adorable cat and dog minis. So we're gonna look at all of that. Uh, we're gonna look at all of that later today. I am looking to see if I have Clippy on this stream, and I don't, but I can add it because I would love to see a clip from Nat One Fun's channel. So if you'll give me just a moment, I believe it's this. I, I, yeah, it is this. Okay, we're gonna put it right above my head. How's that sound? I think it sounds great. Thanks for asking. Okay, uh, let's do this. Yeah, it's there, but it's invisible. You can't see it. Okay, let's see if I did it right. Hey! <laughs> I, I did. I did. I love that. I love that. Um, oh, it was muted. Oh, no. Well, we'll just do it again because I can. I'm. I know I'm bad at this. Well, what you didn't think about was that you just hurt my my grandchild. In I, front did. Of me. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. And so I'm gonna. <laughs> You're so a I'm gonna rate. It's fine. My grandchild, really. I love it. Um, go check out now on fun. Uh, how was Forbidden West? Oh my God. How is it? Um, Sam has played or played uh, Zero Dawn, um, but has not gotten Forbidden West yet. And I have not played any of them. It's incredible! Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. It looks beautiful, but like, so is Zero Dawn. Um, so I love that. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, so yeah, probably right after the break today, we'll open stuff and play with stuff 
uh, that Steamforged Games sent me. Very kind of them. Um, in case you want to go look at some of the stuff, both that we're going to open today and some of the other stuff that we've got going. Oh, please work. I just added you today. There it is. Uh, you can go check out their website. Um, captivating. Breathtaking. Ooh, such good words. I have enough. I did not get Dark Souls in yet. No, I was not sent to review copy of that. Uh, Ross was very kind to send me some of their uh, already released stuff. Though you better believe that I will be poking Ross for a copy once it is released, because I would like to see it. I am V curious about it, and particularly since I found out uh, that one of the amazing people who worked on it was Gabe, uh, of of Gabe James Games, Twitter miss. I don't know. Uh, so I'm I'm very excited to see what what that shakes out to be when I can get my hands on it. Yeah, yeah, Gabe. Um. What else? Uh, it feels like there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh! Um, so there's been, <laughs> there's been a slight change in programming uh, around here, which you might have, you might have seen me mention uh, on the tweeters. But Familiar Quest is taking a brief hiatus, um, uh, which was uh, an exciting development for all of us. Uh, but Idol Champions Presents Courts of the Raven Queen uh, is is airing on Monday evenings from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern, which means, of course, that Familiar Quest, which used to air on Monday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern, will uh, not not be there. <laughs> uh, so we've got, uh, I think Idol Champions Presents uh, the Raven Queen one is going to, they premiered yesterday, and I believe they have a total of five episodes planned. Uh, so... Uh, Familiar Quest will be restarting our adventures in Ravenloft uh, on March 28th, I believe, is when we will be back, if that's a Monday. I don't really know. Um, so yeah, so no Familiar Quest for a few weeks. Um, apologies there, but Idol Champions Presents, featuring such famous characters as Sharafka, aka Shaka from Rivals of Waterdeep, or Kira, the plane hopping, ha uh, cleric of the Phoenix. Um, who else is on that? Baloth, right? Is uh, is Mark Mir's character? Uh, uh, Aaron Evans is playing uh, Farida uh, of Farida and and uh, uh, Havilar fame. Uh, am I forgetting anybody that's in that cast? Shit, I do think I am forgetting one person, and I'm gonna feel bad about it. Oh, oh, oh! And DJ Knight as Desmond from Black Dice Society. Uh, so they had their premiere episode last night. It was a lot of fun. B-Dave uh, is DMing. So go check them out on Mondays while you wait for a familiar quest to come back. Um, and I think that's it, right? It's been a morning, y'all. I woke up and saw more reasons to complain about the atrocious new mayor of New York City, and I sort of consumed my being this morning. Um, so we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna play some Andromeda. <laughs> and kill some aliens. Let's do that. <clears throat> all right. Uh, obviously, of course, if you all have uh, good news, fun things to share, anything at all that you'd like to chat about, you know this is the place for that. Take that stress out on the cat. Egg, exactly. Why can't I hear the game? Now I can hear the game. What's that? Oh, that's Ceridium. We've already... Oh, no, we haven't plugged it. Hello, Stray Hellhound. Hello, hello. Uh, I'll fill you on this. Oh, gamer share. Yeah, I've uh, I have been a resident of the borough of Queens for twelve years now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yes, that. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are on Kadara, I believe, which is the Exiles planet. Um, does Lithium always look like that? Uh, and I believe... All right! Good luck on the work. Thank you for bringing your folks over, Nat1 Fun. I super appreciate it. Um, thanks to everybody who came over with with Nat1. Uh, have a lovely work time. Just finished the most depressing quest. Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing your folks over. Yeah. Um, yes, I was angry that I had to choose between Solarians and Krogans again. Uh, but it happened. So, uh, anyway, we're on Kadara. We're trying to, well, we're ultimately trying to get, uh, these turned on, um, so that we can put a settlement here on Kadara and then start 
I guess, going to other planets as part of the, um... Burr, 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 part of the main quest line. What I don't know is if the Nomad is going to be able to take us where we want to go. Or if I'm just gonna drive it up a mountain face over and over. I met your sister on the Nexus. She's oh, really oh, oh, it's right here, bouncy, though. Irritating. Didn't have to yeah. go far. I don't know anyone like that. She said you raised her? Yeah. Well, I tried. She was a handful. Uh-huh. What was it? Just couldn't wait to be a mom? Excuse me. Excuse uh, me? Never mind. Maybe. Oh, we we ran over what appears to be an Angara, not a cat. Oh, but there's some tracks. It's cat fine. tracks. It's They're fine. leading up into those hills. Well, where does that go? Okay. Main quest, main quest. I mean, you know that is our unofficial motto message. here, so like, yes? <laughs> All right, let's see. Phoebe! She's pretty great. Okay, fine. The outlaws built some kind of tech. They'll be looking oh, to Oh, I don't want to fight both of you. So I'm gonna run over one of you until you're dead. Holy banana phone. Just need a little run up energy. Okay, could you not? Because I'll just fight you normally. It's you that I would like to. Oh, fine. This is absurd. We have a new toy. Are you ready to see the new toy? My charge now recharges my shields again. And I know I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I didn't die. Nope, I died. The animation just, wow, I was at full life and I still got one-shotted by that grab move. Um, main quest, I don't know her, cut wrecked. I was wondering about this last week and I don't know if anyone can tell me, are the other arcs still MIA? Because I'm concerned with what may have happened to them after what we found. Uh, um, so we know, Steph, that the Asari arc is completely unaccounted for. The Turian arc, I thought, crashed. I thought we found out that it crashed. And then the Salarian arc we've taken care of. Um, someone can correct me. I think it was that rude shot to the back of its friend. It got too angry. Hilarious. Um, stop it. Okay. Cat tracks. We're going the right way. Um, have you visited the location of the Turian Golden World? No, I do not believe we have gone. In fact, I think that's one of the the um, priority missions that's on our list to do next. I think. This technology is not registered to either of Kadara's factions, Pathfinder. What technology? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't see any technology to talk about. More tracks. Can't be far now. Okay, but how not far? Like, we should walk this not far? Oh. No, because I would like this to be there when it's V cool, you should do that one. All right, well, we gotta, um, I gotta make sure that that is tr what I just said to you is true. <laughs> Some stasis pods from it crashed, but the actual arc, oh, that's what it was. That's right, that's right, it was stasis. Oh, okay, now. Okay, now. No, no, you don't. Where are you? Guess you do. Yeah. Oh, and I also go back into stealth now uh, when I make a melee kill, I think. Oh, are we still fighting you? Shoot him in the butt! I shot him in the booty. on it. Don't tell me what to do. No.
Well, I'm getting better at combat at any rate. Missed a few. Oh, no worries, Steph. No worries. Yes, and I'm sorry, mobile's so, so poopy. Um, ooh, uh, alright, not gonna use it, but. We got is somebody still here? Bye! Shoot him in the booty! It explains the readings Kandras mentioned at the start of the game. Oh, that we're conflicting. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, so that, and then, and then I have no idea if there has been any news about the other arc. Um, the like miscellaneous. It's a terrible way to put it. But it is kind right, like it is kind of the miscellaneous arc. Um, I don't think we have any news on that one, or if we do, I don't remember. Suddenly it's gotten better. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Phoebe, you okay? If I were Who's dead, that? Vaz! Thank you for that resub. Welcome Kytus, in. I think I found something. Sending the nav point. We should probably have a gun out, right? Like this is a cat thing that we should be ready for. Feels like, yes, yeah, maybe. Yeah. What else we should do? Which we have been doing like once a game lately, which is so terrible. <sighs> Impatient, are we? Sloane Kelly. Sloane? I wasn't expecting you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Hmm. I'm not about to let someone else fight my battles. Interesting. Especially an initiative lapdog. <laughs> you were happy enough to have this lap dog track down information for you. That's what dogs do. Fetch. Then you Enough. can take care of these Let's cat on your own. Over with. You're such a grump when you're worried. And I really don't like her. <laughs> Every second you're gone from the port is an opportunity for the collective. The Pathfinder and I can have it. What was that? They know we're here. Get ready. Well, no shit. We're screaming at each other on the other side of the door. Of course they know we're here. Whoops, sorry. I did not mean to fire. <laughs> oh, shit. They're over there. All right. <laughs> Pathetic still? Or may were you not maybe talking about me, which is fair enough? It's not always all about me. What is happening? I object. Yeah, how you like them apples? Shut you in the crotch. Nice right, I haven't blown up anyone's head in a while. Work on that. Mm, well, maybe this is why. It's sort of tedious. Hey! There, that was fun. Okay, are we good here? Did your lap dog do a good enough job? Oh, we're not done. Okay, well. <laughs> ah! Oh no, you can stop firing. I took care of that. I I won. I won the game. I love how your hair is blunt. <laughs> Gently blowing in a non-existent wind. Yes! <laughs> Okay, work with Reyes, stabilize Kadar. Oh, well, we did that. Oh, are we just done here now? Interesting. Can I? I don't know where we are. Okay, great. Nobody does. Excellent. <laughs> but apparently there's a container to steal from here, so okay. 100% has the D&D magic item. This is your hair wops majestically at all times. <laughs> Voiced by the same person who voices Allura in Legends of Vox Machina. Oh! Um, is that... Is that Indira that... Uh, no, that's not who Adira is in Box Machina, is it? Who, who is it, Sam? <laughs> also, Viv. Oh, it is Adira. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love her. I think everything she does is amazing. Her voice work is great, but also, like, I love watching her in things. <laughs> Couldn't tell you right now what I'm thinking of that I loved her so much in, but, um... Okay, I guess we're getting out of here. I would really like to figure out how to get to there. Could someone tell me how to... Not not you all, chat. I'm not speaking to the ether. Uh, tell me how to get in there. Um, Dear Varma. Y'all. Now, I don't want to... Uh, I We have got fellow streamers in our 
circles in our shared circles uh, who have been doing launch parties and deep dives. So I don't want to do that here, but I do want to just say I really enjoyed the fuck out of Vox Machina, and I don't watch Critical Role. I have watched a grand total of about three and a half hours, which is to say not even an entire episode of the primary campaign stuff. Um, and I loved it. I thought it was exciting. I thought it was engaging. I thought it was funny. Um, I loved it. Uh, yeah. Um, and I don't, you know, let's be real careful about spoilers and that kind of stuff in here because this is not a space that has like been designated for deep dives and, and chats about the show and whatever. And I, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. Um, but I, I just want to say, as someone who does not watch, well, who watched Exandria Unlimited, and that is sort of the extent of my critical role knowledge, uh, I enjoyed the fuck out of it. <clears throat> Very excited for a second season. Yes, hard same. I must know more. I must know more, and I simply cannot go back and watch hundreds of hours of tabletop content from Campaign 1 to get it. So, <laughs> I have some light criticism. Oh, sure, of course. Yeah, I mean, nothing is perfect, and certainly uh, that applies to this as well, but yeah. Maybe if I watch that, well, yeah, see, now I will say, right, Tanya, like, Sam and I enjoyed the fuck out of it because we watched it on the couch with just us and, like, a drink. So, <laughs> that context is perhaps important. Someone who's watched uh, one, they did well translated and also providing Easter eggs, right? And and that was, I think I said this actually uh, in Tanya's channel a while back, which was that like, uh, you know, one of the thing, one of the best things that I can say about it is as someone who doesn't watch, like, I recognize the existence of Easter eggs in those episodes, but didn't get a lot of them, right? And so uh, it, it encouraged me to do my own like further deep dive and get more engrossed in the lore and the stories of that world because of it. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I don't have hundreds of hours to go back and watch the old campaign, but like, yeah, uh, I was, I thought they did that really well. Um, because watching the actual thing is a lot. So fucking many four hour episodes. Yeah. You followed the entire first campaign. Totally enough with the way they did. I'm so happy to hear that, right? Because, like, obviously we are two very... Sorry, we're going to talk about this, I guess, a little bit. We are obviously two very different audiences, right? Those who were deep into campaign one and those who didn't knew nothing about it. And I'm happy to hear that it pleased both of us. Hosting a watch party for the entire season. Great. Yes, absolutely. Go hang out with Gamer Share, with Tanya, with Cypher Tier, who has done uh, uh, deep dives and watch parties. Uh, Urban Bohemian did the same. Um, those are the places for the, the spoiler chat. Could have done without the constant lore dumping and callbacks and notes about how people aren't spoiling, sitting on their hands, not answering. Oh, sure. Yes. Well, yeah. Uh, all you need is a one-week period where you enter a fugue state. <laughs> yes, Mackenzie. That for sure. Um, right. Sure, Kosim. But also, you know, I have, I have uh, my own content to produce and I have other podcasts that I consume and that I, you know, have chosen to consume ahead of Critical Role. So, time to fight. Uh, yeah. The free time as well as the work time is fairly well spoken for uh, on my end. What's next on me? Ah, that sounds like a great plan. Oh no, don't grab me. Don't grab me. I forgot you're the grabber. Damn it, you grabbed me and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that too, uh, Wings. Um. See now, I I will say one thing about those th about those enemies is that when they kill me, they have they have the manners to go the fuck away after I die. They like they eat my corpse, I guess, or something, and then move on with their lives, and I appreciate that. How do I get into you, do da do da? How do I get in a, up in there, oh do da day? I did just die. Yes, again, fair. Cause those that is I I I should have been keeping track, but I do feel like what are we up to now? 13? I feel like 50% of those those deaths are one-shot kills from those monsters. Also a good anti-frustration feature. Yes, that too. <laughs> that too for sure. Oh god, there's another one. What are what is that? Pointing me towards. Whoops, let's not agitate the thing that keeps killing me. Oh, is it just this? Oh, God. Nice work. Is it coming after us? Could it not? 
come after us. Okay, it does not seem to be particularly interested in this. Makes me giggle every time. I love it, and it was definitely something that the brilliant mods did on their own. I I would have no idea. It was no, ignore me, continue killing the thing. I'm sorry, no, ignore me. You keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I think this says a lot about us. Not yet, it wants to say hello, apparently. Right, well. Looks like they've got it covered. I guess. Wow. Wow, it's really, this game is really insisting on keeping those combat noises in the background, huh? Just to remind me. Now, this also, I feel like, looks like a place we have been before. Oh, I think I found the way to the other monolith. But didn't we just come from that way? Oh well. Hi, Posey. Uh, joining this evening, also trying to... Aw, if you want to lurk, I support your choice to lurk, Posey. But if you would like to hang out and chat, um, and chat with all of us, that is also great and fine and lovely. No pressure. Welcome. All right. Are you, like, right there, though? Because I need you to not be. Apparently I was also wrong about what was in there, so. Fine, 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 fine! Ugh. Run away, run away! <laughs> it's not obstructed, thank you. All right, now. You're still white, but maybe it's a, maybe it's a, a quest. That should the gospel of chain jumping. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go up there. Now I think I also remember, like, didn't we? Uh, I have a feeling you're gonna get touchy and want us to use this. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And you shoot it all about. You do the shooty booty. This does look. For Skyrimming? I'll take it. No, I know it was because we discovered a new area. But I do like the idea that it just was like, oh, you know what? You're not going to make it, but you're working so hard. We want to give you a little. Oh my god, we made it. Okay, now is this the one? No, that one was on the floor. The shooty booty, yes. And you put your, and you put the bad guys down. There it is. That's what it's all about. Okay, we have a full parody. You put your left gun in. You put your left gun. In, you put your shit. This is the one I was worried about. So you put how your do you left feel gun about in, Sam being good on everything you do we say you do? And you put the you bad do guys know down. Sam's listening That's right what now, right? it's all about. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks, Ghost Sam. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. I used to have an ads command, but once I automated them, took it away, maybe I should bring it back. Okay. Um, I am going to... Thank you, Seven. That was very kind and generous of you. Uh, heading off. Okay, have a good session, Tanya. Hope that works out. Good things for you. Um... And I, I think, am about to. Driving. So oh, it is. Say, okay. I was, that means, I was like, I don't know. Yar uh, pirates, unless shooty pirates. Shooty pirates. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's not do this in the car. How about? Um. Okay. If I. Okay. You keep saying down, but here's the thing about that. I don't believe you. Oh, please find a place to stand. <laughs> Find a place. No! Okay, but that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, fine. We're not gonna Skyrim. Fine, 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 fine. Um, I am, I think. Oh, I think maybe I tried to lift the embargo on this last week and nobody remembered how to do it. I am Skyrim Horse now. Okay. 
there's a cave somewhere. We all know there's a cave. I haven't found the cave yet. Maybe I have and I just don't know it. We do, and I'm lifting the embargo if anyone remembers. Oh, Wings remembers. Great. Because I just can't do this anymore. Directly south where the road is. Okay. Directly south. Ah, okay. We have definitely been coming at this from the wrong side. In every... Right? Um, do, 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 do. Woo! Oh God! Oh my I think God! I need to apologize, Vetra. Now, okay. yeah. The road. Where's the road? Okay, we're on the road. So now we just gotta See, find. I had an the... older sister. Do I have the right one on? Five hundred years cave older. By the time I was self-aware, she was already a matriarch. In other Easy words, to find once you know where. I had yeah. two mothers, Near that tree and they tagged thing. Me, trying to raise me oh. right. Well, South Sid and I had no parents, and west. someone had to be responsible. I get it. Could you stop rolling? That's why I apologize. You have one job, I Car. I forget I said anything. Devs like to get a little too sneaky. <laughs> of course I did. Of course I did, Dragon Mustang. Of course I did. Okay, let's go back over. Um, come on, just go around. Um, the thing is, I don't mind a creative terrain. I just need the capabilities of your maps and heads-up displays to, like, sh show me. <laughs> ah ha ha! Ah ha ha ha! <laughs> Thank you all, you are the best! <laughs> if we need anything in there, let's fucking go! Remnant. <laughs> completely fried. Bertels match weapons from the Milky Way Pathfinder. Interesting. Also, they are right here, and they do seem to be of interest. You're not gonna let me scan them, even. Oh, you're just teasing me, and it's mean. Okay. Now it does appear that there are some angry friends down this way, a little ways. Could you tell me? You know what? I don't remember what my other gun is. Oh, it's the shotgun, right? Idiots are stripping the monolith for scrap. Right, well, we'll take care of it. Fairly straightforward, it seems. Maybe not. Ha! <laughs> Ooh, I spun them right round. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Let's. No, uh, how do I switch my guns? <laughs> Isn't there like a quick change button? It's fine, I'll just do it this way. makes me so nervous when it does that. It's like, press right stick to look at something. And then there's something in the way and I don't know if something's about to come in and kill me. Ooh, uranium, we love to see it. I mean, we don't, that's bad. That's, we're all gonna die now. Unless it happens to be a naturally occurring store of already depleted uranium, which is fine. But I then I imagine it's probably also significantly less useful. 
walks in and sees Max. Hey, it's done, dude. Oh, wait, that's just a forward station. Oh, is that what that was? Oh, no, that's over there. Um, But yes, they do do that to me somehow. I forgot how fluid the comment. Yeah, it definitely is nice to not have to rely quite so heavily on cover, particularly, particularly with this version uh, of combat that I am. Yeah, I know. You're going to tell me I need to play hide and seek, right? Looks like it isn't filled in yet. Yeah. Oh, who's going to tell me to go scan things? Who's it gonna be? Somewhere, aha. Well, that's not true. Okay, there's one. Doesn't look like there's any other. Oh, there's another. I think we needed four for this one, which is kind of a lot. There's a five, if I can get it. Okay, and six is probably ah, right there. You it's relatively painless, I guess. I guess they felt bad about how hard it was to find this place in the first place. <laughs> yeah, for sure, same. For sure, same. Score, we're in. Okay, that's all three. Okay. What? Yeah, where is the vault entrance? Up here. Okay. Of course, not anywhere near anything we've placed, but that's okay. Let's get to the vault and fix Kadara's water. Yeah, good idea. What is that? Literally. All right, we can fast travel though to this and probably be fine. I don't suppose we can fast travel here. No. Yes, this is Spicy Water Planet. There's a radioactive. There's radioactive bath houses, houses literally called Radium Palace. The water's on fire. What? That's not natural. It right? is not, Phoebe, but thank you for asking. <laughs> hey, Nizem, be welcome in. Um, I did a reading of a play about the um, the Radium Girls, the women who uh, were hired to. <clears throat> okay, wait, I do want to hear this quote. banter and then I'll yeah, tell you about sure. this play. You're sorry for jumping down my throat when I apologize for jumping down your throat. All good. The truth is, I really like you. Surprising, right? I have to say, I like you too. You're cool. Aww. I'm for an uptight, overbearing older sister. <laughs> Kidding. That was adorable, and I loved it. Eh, no, it's not good. Um, that was adorable. Um, yeah, so the Radium Girls is about the women who were hired to paint, uh, to paint the radium-based glow-in-the-dark paint on the numbers on watch faces, um, and how, you know, the technique, because it was such fine work, was to lick your brush so that it was a perfectly fine-haired point, then dip it in the radium paint and paint, lick, dip, paint. And so they were consuming massive amounts of radium over time, which obviously wreaked havoc on their bodies. Um, it's a really fascinating story. And it was, it's one of the one of the stories of some of the first like workplace protections that were legally established because of the um, because of the uh, legal proceedings that took place on behalf of those. Women. Was, of course, a hard fought battle because what worker protection in this capitalist hellscape of a country hasn't been. But anyway, ladies' use of x rays. They had x ray machines in shoe stores. Each machine uh, released on use more radiation than an entire nuclear reactor puts in the environment in a year. But, nah, nuz. I think Hulu had a movie. Oh, I didn't know that. That'd be interesting to see. Um, the play is kind of beautiful. Obviously, it takes a. a I shouldn't say obviously. It takes a slightly more poetic approach to the story, but like also in in the end, uh, sort of the main so, story is about the women your little sister, and like baby. their lives as they got these me. jobs. <laughs> My God, these two and their banter is so good. Where are we going? Are we going the right way? Oh, Very right. helpful. Thanks. Um, about their you know their lives and like what it meant to them to get these jobs and how terrible it was to have them them in the end. 
Um, so a lot of the a lot of the actual like lawsuit and workplace changes things um, take place sort of like in narrated vignettes, and that stuff is all very real. Why do I feel like this car is handling worse than it used to? Is this a thing we've done? Oh, oh my. No, okay, this is not a thing we've done. So let's get out of the car, fight whoever we need to fight. Hello? Hello? Hi, oh my goodness. Hello. I am so bad with this shotgun. There we go. Woof. Yeah. Not scannable is what that is. A lizard limb stuck in the back axle. <laughs> I don't know if you're kidding or not, but like I could see it either way, to be honest. You'll break the nomad. <laughs> Emmy won flashback with all the hills, right? Not Mako, right? Ugh. Mako. All right. Um, I do kind of want to pick these up right quick. Oh, no, no. Get in the car. Get in the car, you noob. Ah! Baby, what's your full name again? Peanut butter? Peanut butter? My full name is Peanut Butter. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's um, incredible. I wish that was true. Can that be true? I will help you with the paperwork. Oops. Feels like we went kind of far. Nope, we did not. It's here. Great. Ah! <laughs> I love it when I just decide to bail out of a still moving vehicle. Interesting. Do we think? Nope. That is not in fact what I originally thought it was, which is to say a functioning elevator. In the bouncy castle. <laughs> Look, we love our Mako here in this house and miss it terribly. And there's probably a different way to do this, but hey, we made it. Hello! Assault took everything but the road to hub. I'm Drawing sorry. Scavengers? Always. Who are you? A Pathfinder with the initiative. A Pathfinder? On Kadara? Holy shit. You said you had a scavenger problem? I'm not sure problem. that I did. Right, yeah. Bastards come at night, pick the turbines clean of parts. Expensive and annoying. Sloan doesn't provide security? Too busy with the collective. I'm not asking for guards, I just want our parts back. I'll get them. Any idea where I could find these scavengers? I've started putting trackers on the more valuable parts. Yard drive, generator, they've all been taken to the same nav point. I'll check it out. If the parasites put up a fight, don't feel bad about offing them. I know we shouldn't label people, but I feel people who like the Mako and those who don't... <laughs> Probably a useful categorization way. I genuinely didn't listen to a word that that person said after Raiders stole shit. I, I should have. I'm sorry to you, man. I have suddenly developed a very bad habit of just she not the influence of oblivion. paying attention to anybody lately. Moving! Stop. She was telling scavengers when to attack in exchange for credits to buy oblivion. Oh, that seems bad. Okay, I don't, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Not played any of the games. Yes. <laughs> oh, I should have just left well enough alone and fixed things. Well, what do you want? Well, you're not like the other. You gotta pay attention to this here. lady. I'm gonna do it. What makes you say that? Your gear. It's high quality. 
like the rest of you. <laughs> oh. What can I say? I like the best. Then you're just the man I need. Oh, I'll bet I am. When the exiles came to Gadara, they hid caches of Nexus supplies all over the Badlands. Junk, mostly. Stale protein bars and rations. Mostly. But among the I know, right? are some serious weapons lifted straight from the armory. And you know this. How? Because I lifted them. I help steal them. Yep. Oh Probably my god, I was kidding. Those weapons ah! are too good for the scum down here. And I can't sell weapons in Kadarapur without Sloan taking a cut. Interesting. The cash nav point, though? Are you interested? It's yours for a fair price. Sure. You've got a deal. Lovely. Here's the nav point. Great. What do I owe you? In the meantime, feel free to take a look at what I've Oh, you're a store. Stock. I'm probably never going to buy from you, is the truth. But okay. Improved. Ooh, direction system. Allow the occupants to detect enemies through ops. Oh. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and improved shield regeneration. Absolutely, let's do that. Uh, we're going to sell a salvage, so that'll balance some cost. Shield reset bonus. Upgrade shield cells to reduce the time it takes for shields to begin regenerating. Okay. Yeah, I mean, all of these things, let's buy them. Yes, oh. I'm sorry, this one's called Roll Initiative. That's incredible. I don't think I want you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm okay for all this. Um, but yay, new things. I feel like I should sell some things back. Um, if for no other reason, then this is the most money I think I've maybe ever spent. Yeah, sell that. Sell that. Sure. Any armor less than level three? Yeah, we can get rid of that. Uh, I don't need two Predator 4s. It feels weird selling something ultra rare, but okay. I don't need the Carnifex 2. I don't need the Omni Blade. I had like my melee weapon, I gotta tell you. Mm -mm -mm, that's good enough. I'm bored. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably not gonna buy- Ooh! Yeah, call me out, Jen, because it's true. It's true. It cost a D20. Uh, or putting a D20 somewhere on that paint job. I might put that paint job on the card just so we can examine it to see if there is, in fact, a D20 somewhere. Uh, could even get into position- Oh, wait a minute. My evil PC. Here we go. I had his final confrontation with the party. Ooh, some key features in my subclass. Bad dice rolls. I was unable to execute my plans perfectly. Oh, no! Couldn't even get into position to attack them. They slaughtered me. <laughs> Oh no, and I give them the most satisfying kill yet. Hey, we love that. We love that. Ooh, love a loot drop. Um, your game is so exciting to me. Thank you for all the updates. Uh, and I'm I'm sorry that it didn't go quite as well as, or exactly to plan, but I'm glad it was still exciting. Why is the game making no noise? Uh, I'm glad it was exciting for them. New inventory fully stocked. Yep, okay, double the prices. Eh, fuck off. Okay, hello. <laughs> Okay, I think we can leave this area, right? Can we please go do our job now and make this planet habitable? Where is... Ah. There. Oh, boy. It's not D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, truly. I do love this color. But we'll have to... Yes, I know. You want me to give me another one? Yeah. And another one? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. Now, I think we want to go right back around. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Totally forgot about my psychic knacker. I could have improved some key rolls. It's just a bad RNG. Yeah. Happens. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. The Angara were all alone here until the cat showed up. Can you imagine wondering if you're the only sentient species in the galaxy? Yes. Yes, I can. Come on, turn. You can do it. Damn it. Slippery. Oh, that works. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, appears we've taken care of that, so off we go this way. Ooh, I'm excited to do a vault. Yes, wings. Excited to do another vault. Faster. Do we even do some impressive work with the airship? You had Captain Ipe glyphs and words. Locked all doors. Oh, clever. I love that. Oh, God. Spicy water. I Ooh, here it comes. Hello, Vaulty Poo. Oh, no, spicy water! Spicy water! <laughs> love that there's such a great abuse. I love that. Time to unspice the water. Yes. I, though I will be sad to no longer yell spicy water when we're on Kadar. I suppose. All right, I gotta get our scanners out and start paying attention. So that I don't have to do this vault more than once like we did the- <laughs> Shields won't last in this stuff. Thanks, I hate it. Let's go. Where are you lurking? I hear you go. Oh no, spicy water, spicy water just made me laugh out loud. Yay, Eska! <laughs> Glad I could bring some joy and levity to your working conditions. <laughs> Send me a spicy beer. Ooh, that sounds fun, actually. You might say the spicy needs to st okay. stop like, Remin which we never say here. Let's get this place up and running. Environmental hazard to spice. Okay, now there's got to be at least, there's always at least one, always, Fast like I've done so many the of these. I You'll see first it. need to stop the reactor and initiate the purification field. I... Oddly enough, Sam, I am familiar with how we do vaults. Now, I understand that each one's a little different. But, no, you're not. I'm sorry. Ignore me. Really nothing else out here, huh? Oops. Ah! Nothing else, though. I, there's usually a, a, what you call it, a data core in the first room of the vault. At least one, but there wasn't this time. There will be spicy vault water. That's true. We get a whole vault of spice to send off the spice properly. You know what I mean? Well, we turn the power on. You'll need to locate the console to activate the purification field, Pathfinder. Okay. Several interface connections converge here. I will highlight the ones you need. Oh, I see the problem. How interesting. Okay. So it looks like, actually... Oh, I'm sorry. On my way. It does not look like this one actually is going to do anything for us, so it's going to be the first one I try. Obviously. Oh. Oh. I think I misunderstood. If you have to sell a bottled spicy water, what would the brand name be? Spice 2 0. Um, oh god, that was terrible. I'm so sorry. Or, um. Uh, spicy bubbles. Oh, is it carbonated? Ooh, I like that. Okay. Or maybe we it isn't carbonated. get to the purification console. Spicy boba tea. I meant that for in-game. Oh! <laughs> yes, these were spicy bubbles. Slightly less spicy than the spicy water, uh, which is good. Oops, hit it. Yeah, thanks. want me to ch oh well if you say so hmm, I kind of 
I thought there would be something there. I was wrong. <laughs> Wand of secrets to find those secret doors. Hello. I would totally try spicy boba Ravenclaw squirrel. Uh, spicy water to alcohol. Maybe that's fireball. Oh, that's interesting. Wonder what this place has in store. <laughs> I'm glad that we are acknowledging in game that like each of these presents a different challenge in a fun puzzly way. <laughs> I mean, cheese foam boba is a, is it? I don't think I knew that. Hello, focus your power send. Oh, yes. Finder. This may affect your escape from the purification field. Oh, interesting. Everything is terrible, huh? Okay, wait, hold on now. Pause. I also think what that is telling us is that there are things on the slides. <laughs> Are you all here to protect something? And if so, can you tell me where it is so I can steal it? Mm, that's just a container, though. I mean, that's fine, too, but... Nope. No. Okay. Okay, guess not. Guess that's it up here. Yeah, see... Aha! No, no, it isn't. Sneaky data core. See, I knew it. All right. Mm -hmm. What is cheese foam? I have no idea. I've not been brave enough to try it, but I've seen it at North Chicago Burns Boba Place. <laughs> Wild, and I love it. I love these bridges. I think they are so cool. Where though? Remtech. Bet we can grab it on the way back. I will add this map to your interface, Pathfinder. Huh? Oh. 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 I didn't know that was a thing we could do. Uh. How interesting. We should probably take care of this ramp. Remnants. We can lay low or take them on. No, no, we'll take them on it. Assemblers and a nullifier? We'll take them later. Ah! What the shit is that? A turret. Well, ask a silly question, I suppose. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. You are, in fact, a turret, so... Look, buddy. No! Nice shot. Thank you. Now, what's over here on this hill of treasure? That's what I assume it is. Yes, I did find it. My favorite. So that happened moment in a D&D game was a friend's depiction of a final campaign boss event. Evil gnome wizard hounding the party. Dramatic cliff. Volcano. Doors close right behind him starts doing his monologue. Party's minotaur is just a movement to do a charge throw attack. Was supposed to be an epic final battle with the splash. Oh, shit. That poor DM, but also that must have been glorious for the minotaur player. Which is why I usually can't get too upset about those kind of things in games when I'm DMing. Because, like, as long as it feels exciting and satisfying for the players, like, eh, alright, what are you gonna do? Always overlook the one obvious thing, right? I mean, look, I wouldn't want it to happen every time. And I certainly do, like, learn lessons when it happens. But, like, you know. Heads up! Big guys ahead! Oh, good. You... I know. What? 
Okay, they so that turn is not down. Could it be down, though? Thank you, Everson. Could you also not be Would be great. Uh-oh. Time to go invisible. No, you don't get to shoot me when I'm invisible. That's the rule. Down. Oh god, they're both down. Everything is terrible, turret. Okay, okay, back here. No, okay, back here. Okay, we gotta get our friends up. Let's go. Nope, this button. Come on, peeps. Come on, peeps. Come on, peeps. There's just too many of them for me to deal with on my own. Thank you very much. Let's go get that. No. I need to do this so I can get some shield back for just a mo. Okay, once we're invisible again, we'll. Oh, you guys gotta stop dying. I don't know what to tell you. because it kills us in the explosion. Oh, I would be so angry. I think ever willing to let a D&D villain do their monologue. Nah. Well, that's not true. Uh, there have been a couple of times in games that I have run and games that I was a part of um, where we knew the villain's monologue was going to give us important information for because it was not the villain, right? It was a villain. Um, so we had to sit through monologues, or I, you know, encourage my players narratively to sit through monologues because uh, we knew it was like there was information for the leader matter boss. Um, what do we have here? here? Yes, a secret door. Maybe we gotta get power to that thing, though. What? What is your other? Are you just an on-off switch? Do you not have another? Is my big question. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Can I just attack them? <laughs> or, or my other favorite thing to do is the self-aware villain monologue. Oh, all right. No. Maybe. Maybe this is not the place that I want to start, actually. This is the place I want to start because that one has to be that one. And then this one's the next good place to start because it has to be that one. Which means that this one has to be... Oops, that one. Uh-oh, nope, I'm wrong. One, two, three. Right, so then it has to be that. Oh, no, fine, yeah, okay. Um, so, for example, this one has got to be... Uh-oh. One. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, something's wrong, and I think it might be you. All right, let's start again. In this space! Oh, I was totally wrong about that. No, this is where we want to start, because this has to be that one. That's why. Okay, great. So then this one has to be that one, which means this one has got to be that one, which means this one has to be that one, which then I believe, uh, oh, actually, no. Uh, let's go uh, here and leave that one. There we go. We can put 
that one down, which means that one is this one, which means that this one's that one, which then means that this one is definitely not that one. It's this one, so this one is this one, so this one's that one, and this one is that one. Interface successful. As soon as they enter the final key code. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right. Um, great. So we got the secret room. That's done. Does that mean it's off our map too? Oh. No. Here's not. Oh, there's just more. Okay. Sure. But it, I do think means we can get out of here. Ah. What an awful noise, whoever is making that. Ah, oh, yes. Let's not jump prematurely here. Now, it does appear that there is another secret something that you would like me to interact with. Bus is ducks. What though? Uh, intro. All right. Okay. So that's for on the way back. Understood. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Understood. Okay. So then, what's that? Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that data core that I really would like to get to by going. I am so turned around. It's fine. That spicy water is looking very spicy. Interesting. There's a no spicy water. I wonder. No, there's no way I. We're gonna try it anyway. No, there's absolutely no way I'm making that. Okay, great. Fine. Oh god. <laughs> well, okay. Watch for remnant. Oh. I, okay. How do I, what do I, I feel a little, oh, this might be bad. Nope! Ah! Oh, it's much Pathfinder. more shallow than I realized. Oh, hi. Ah! Oh, hi, oh my bejesus. Now, where is the sneaky remnant core? Can I scan that from here, I hope? Yeah, excellent, okay. Having the foggiest. Oh, is this how I get up? Yeah, okay, glorious. Oh, this is, okay, this is the other door. I think your team found the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, apparently. Left me to just dump in certain skill levels. Anyone regardless of class can portal somewhere they've physically been before. Oh, we do love portal. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> uh, we, we love a good fast travel. Uh, but yeah, I had a similar, I tried a similar thing in when I ran a home campaign of Out of the Abyss. Cause there's so much under dark travel in written into that campaign. And it just gets, Re it gets real tedious, particularly when you enter the second half of that campaign. Um, which, if you're not familiar with the campaign, you like you do the first half, and then you escape the Underdark, and then you get pulled back into the Underdark. Um, and if you like escape and get pulled back, and then also have to do all the tedious stuff again, I couldn't find a good way to make that work without being, without it feeling punishing for continuing on with the main story. Uh, so I, I tried a similar thing and it, it sort of worked. We had to sort of had a, have a, have a, a handshake agreement, uh, between the players and me that like, okay, I understand that the way that I built this has some, um, exploits that you could use. I kindly ask that you don't. 
And they were pretty Pilot good, to be fair. Connections, Pathfinder. Let's get all of these activated. Do we have to? It kind of hurts. I mean, it's like fine, but... Here they come. God, already? Where? I see you. I'd actually just like to go ahead and do this one, though, if, if we don't mind. Thanks. Now I can move freely. Where the fuck did you come from, you little shit? Are there more? Uh? Turns out that was unnecessary. Used. I almost felt bad. Okay. Now. I'm getting us something. Oh, that was just from the shield? Okay, fine. Ah! ah no! Whoops, one more. Oh, there's more! <laughs> no, target is not obstructed. It's not an invalid target either! Oh my god. I well, know I enjoy this game, but... That shit. Hey, the Zackman man! They pulled me back in, right? Uh, okay, we should... We should kill these things. It should go invisible, because that's what I do here. <laughs> Holy monkey! Who else? Where? Oh. I thank you ever so much. Anyone else? Oh. This console will activate the purification field. Yes, I you know. Want to sweep the area. I I know. Before this place tries to kill us, you mean? Clockworks and oh, feel a bit accident. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Um, we found the secret room. We found a couple of data cores. We know there's one we have to grab on our way out. I, will it let me save? I would love. I don't know if it's gonna let me. I would love. No, it's not gonna let me. All right, well, fingers crossed that we collected everything and don't have to do this over again. Here. Here we go. Okay, get ready to Do run. I remember where that thing is? No. Oh, you go, go. noodle. You horrible banana foster. Uh, excuse me. Where do we go? Really? Really? Ah! <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. I don't know if this is the right way, but I'll take it. Seems to be a right way, so again. Not gonna complain, no, but actually, ah yes. Ah yes. Okay, whatever. Oh no! I can't! Believe! Ah! Ah! <laughs> How do I get out of here? Oh shit! Not this way! Okay, well, yes, this way, I guess. Let's just take a quick look at them, yeah, make sure there's nothing else marked. Well, that seems like we missed a whole area, but I'm not gonna worry about it for a minute, because we don't really have time to go yet. Whoops, I overshot it again! <laughs> Man, never gets less terrifying. Let's get out of here. Oh, uh... Okay. 
continues making some incredibly comforting background noises. <laughs> Spicy, di yeah, yeah. Hey, Sequoia, welcome in. Holy bananas. Okay, well, let's get out of here. That's separate, right? So it doesn't mean that I... Did I screw it up? Did I miss something? Do we have to do this vault again? Shit. Please, please be something else. Please be something else. Nope. Damn it. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't leave the vault un... I can't leave the vault unfinished. I would like an answer, uh, Wings, if you don't mind. Sorry, I immediately got attacked and didn't say uh, to lift the embargo. Uh, but yes, I will. Uh, I would like the answer because I. Ah! It's just a little loot. Oh no, it's fine. Distract the crap out of me. That's why we're all here. Um, this whole plant smells like rotten eggs thanks to the sulfur. I did forget that. I think mine also kept as white even though I did everything. Oh, well, that would make me feel a little better. It's going to bother me forever and ever. <laughs> but if that's the case, then we certainly don't need to rerun the whole damn vault. I will say, it feels like such a frustrating choice. I would like this forward station, please. Um, for them to lock down the vaults after you do them, but also make it so that you can leave them uncompleted on your map. And I don't mean this bug, I mean in general. Like, God, that's, that's just my hell. <laughs> Where are we going? What are we doing? Oh, we're trying to get this right. Um, but. Uh-oh. It did not occur to me that maybe the Nomad would not appreciate. Someone says leave the planet and come back if you finished it, it'll be blue. Incredible, thank you, Wings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the best possible news, thank you, yes, good. Mm -hmm. Deploy that forward station. There's also presents here. So I would, I would like to pick Mind them up. Zones have <laughs> been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Great, thank you. Was that it? No, there's something on top. How forward of you. Say there should be a post-clearance minigame where you fly a drone through it. Oh, that's a cool idea. I kind of like that. I mean, my God, the, the amount of programming and like dev time that would require. But, you know, pie in the sky. That's a really cool idea. I like that a lot. <laughs> God, I'm getting tired of the wildlife on this planet. What do we got? Oh, that's where we came from. All right. All right. Well, hey, we did the thing. Uh, we can move that. What's this? No, I don't. Well, we are sort of right here. But what I would like to do, actually, is... Not that. Not that. Settling guitar. Here we go. Work with Reyes. You know I want to do that. Are you going to tell me how? No. Which means I need to search for the other. Here we go. This is the one. Aha. Ooh. Okay. Going out to a whole new part of the map. Um, 
But if we do the Tempest, I did have to take the wheel I wanted to do. I'll go wrong. Don't worry about the wildlife once we... <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I missed something that Wings said. Um... Oh, quick up and back. Oh, 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 I see. I'm actually not, now that I know it's going to do its thing properly, I'm not, I'll tell you, quick change. Ah, okay. Um, now that I know I don't have to worry about it, I'm actually not going to worry about it right now. So save that, um, save that take the wheel for when we get back to the Tempest after, where the fuck am I going? Uh, oh, we're coming way back down here. So actually let's, fa oops, let's fast travel to here. Um, save it for when we do go back to the Tempest. If I told the people back on Earth that I get to punch dinosaurs on a regular basis, they'd never have believed me, Ryder, probably. Fire Roasted <laughs> Spider Beetle is the best thing. Wouldn't touch that even if I could digest it. Well, no one from the Milky Way can really digest it, but trust me, the consequences are so worth it. Also, the roasting doesn't actually kill the beetle, it just makes it angry enough to spit. Excuse Literally, me? A meat that makes its own gravy. It was... Amazing. Excuse and me. I to this less than when you oh, first yes, started definitely talking intrigued. about it. Excuse me. Har, hello, mateys. That was a terrible thing to come in on. What about a meat making its own gravy from its spit as it's alive? I'm telling you, this place is more horrifying than the Northern Island. What's odd? Looks like there's a presence here. Hello, everyone. Captain Sniv here. I, it seems that I've come on to pilot this wee, this wee mini land boat that you're using here. I, the good, the bad news is I've no idea how to operate it. The good news is neither does Ryder, it seems. Burn. A security override. All right, we'll override. I'll override your security. Arr. I think that gets us a ding. There it is was slightly delayed. If only just my- Oh, well, you've got a while back and forth with me, uh, Trig. I'm thrilled to have just met you, and happier still to let you know that I think you got a bit of time on and off. We've got a bit of time, because you're talking about me. This just got really confusing. <laughs> oh, that's a dead person. Okay. Let's listen to an audio log again. Yeah, those outcast bastards for three oh, days. Oh, such strong language, are you fit out long with me crew? I haven't eaten in days. I'm so thirsty. Fuck it. I know it should be filtered, but I'm taking my chances. Oh, Water's you made water. a silly mistake. Oh, God, this. <coughs> ah, it was a bad mistake you made there. Now, my friends, we could, my friends and I, we could have told you when you're sailing on the high seas or drinking spicy water. You've always got to boil it first. Now, what have you got to say? Screw it! Her, I think this whole story about the water being poisoned is just a big fucking lie they tell people to keep them inside the... Well, that was wrong. Room would be great to relax in that way. Oh, right, it's a beautiful... Uh, if they told the truth, nobody would need Sloan to rule over them and we could all live in the backlands. I don't, I don't understand the point of view of this person, I have to say. Also, who's slowed? Fuck it. Oh, oh, that's a, oh, maybe this is canonically uh, before season nine. So this is how I sniv learned the word fuck. I'm not swallowing her bullshit. It's really wild for sniv to be cursing this much. The water isn't perfect, but it's still water. I don't see any cancer particles floating. Oh my God. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So what are we stealing from you? Ooh, a, a gun. Okay. Oh, a couple of guns. Okay. Yeah. A sniper rifle and a pistol that I'll probably never equip. Off we go. Oh, that's me timer. Wow, that was a fast three minutes. It's been nice spending time with you, and I'm sure I'll see y'all again soon. Well, shit. I really thought... Oh. Oh, I think I'm right. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay, I think it's this way. Captain Snare. 
Oh, snap. You're not a Turian citizen, are you? I just realized you weren't on the Natanis, and you don't act like them. You're right. I'm not a citizen. I was taken from Palavin real young. Didn't even get to boot camp. Wow. A real Turian might look down at me. And so, you know, I'm using my mother as the example of real Turian. I don't remember much about Palavin, but I remember her. She always looked like she was shitting a tank. Excuse Ew. me? Um, yeah, I guess we can stop and fight him. Uh, but I would actually love to just run over them Enemies. and not get out of the car. Is that acceptable? I want to at least be close enough so that when my... Yeah, when that happens... I just... I refuse to believe that you survived that. I ran over you in my tank. This is definitely way harder than just... Uh, fighting them. But here we go. Are we done? Can we be- oh, for God's sake. Could we just not? Fine. Nope! Holy shit, I forgot they spit. You know I object! Die, please. Oh my. Trying to reload keeps interrupting me. Bless me. Okay, now there's an auntie over here somewhere, which seems like a silly problem to even address. Can you guys take care of it, actually? That would be... <laughs> Fuck me, that scared the bejesus out of me. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, okay. <laughs> Man, that one got me. That got, no, I'm sorry. You don't have orders. I don't ignore whatever I said to do. Except for that last shot, but sure. <laughs> no, you noodle. Damn it, Ryder. Down? What do you want me to get from down? What do you mean down? Ah, oops. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. Could you tell me? Wait, how do I, uh... Structure. Okay, well, I have had a look-see around the structure and find nothing else of value here. So, can we put the gun away, please? You are insufferable with that thing out. Hmm. Something up here, maybe? Although the icon is saying to go down. Okay, well, I guess that's that. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no idea what we're looking at or for. Oh, but I'll take that iridium that I cannot see and doesn't seem to exist. Where's the car? That's up here. Okay. What do you mean up? What are we doing? Oh, right. We're working with Reyes. This may be blasphemy, but adding cheese to my noodles really rescued them. I mean, look. Come on. No, I absolutely own. 
we on fire? Seems like it might be a problem, but hmm. yeah, we're never gonna make Looks it up like here in the we car. Looks like we missed the meeting. Let's look around. Maybe Zia left something behind. Could you not be such a dick about this? You know what I'm trying to get you to do. Why is the nomad burning? What did you do to our precious Faco? I don't know. I guess maybe I drove through spicy water, but... Oh, yes, Haley. Could we not fight that thing? Is that an option? I would love... Yeah, sit on your big booty. Congratulations on that trunk, by the hey, way. Hey, Ryder, something's huh? hidden here. Gotta be a way to get inside. Sam? The lock is controlled remotely, perhaps by something nearby. Oh, man. Think I found something. Looks like a wire. <sighs> no, could you not? Could you just choose to not? Choose, choose peace. No. Sorry. Ah. Wow, that is Maybe well this will get hidden. us inside. Here goes nothing. Is that it? You guys can fight the wildlife all you want. I'm just running away. And I guess going invisible during it. Oh, no! found a data pad with what looks like a nav point. Must be where Zia's hiding the cargo. Probably left that behind for the buyer. I know, same, Haley. Why not just tell the buyer directly? Frequencies can be hacked. Dead drops are considered safer. Exactly. Especially for a big sale. Uh-oh. Did you find anything might be in trouble. The Salarian is a fence. No direct connection to the collective. My guess is Zia met him to find potential buyers. Let's follow up on those coordinates. I'll meet you there. Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. <laughs> that was fucking wild. Uh, yes, just all of them. I love my hammer. I also love that. Okay. Um, where do we go? <laughs> What's this? Oh, I think we should, oops. Let's maybe do that because also. Wait a minute. I also didn't, uh, shockingly. Meet Reyes at the nav point. Yeah. What nav point? Ah, way out there. So yes, let's do this since we're here. We can also get this uh, forward station. Baby Sinclair, is that blue game? Where is my car? <sighs> this has been a productive day for Dakar, for Dakara, for uh, Kadara. Oh my God, you're still alive and hanging out with my car? Could you not? Nah, I'm just like this beating you to death. No, no, it's. I think it's dead. Oh, there's another thing. Great. Thank nice you guys work. for being on the lookout. Oh god, here we go. Oh, thank you, uh, Dragon Mustang. Automated for that heads activated. up. Deploying Great. forward station. Oh dear. Oh dear. Because they keep pounding Storm. I'm so mad at you. 
<laughs> Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Seems thrilling. I don't generally care, but. Uh, uh oh. Didn't know which way to go. Uh, oh, we're on fire. There it is. Last known location of this Johan guy. Hopefully, Remy's inside. And alive. Warden said Johan ran a nasty crew. Don't expect a warm welcome. Don't think they're gonna invite us in for coffee! How can you take three shotgun blasts? We gotta, we gotta get a new shotgun. <laughs> Very clever, don't you? Now you're very dead. I'm not fucking around with you. More? Ugh, where? Stop running. All right. <laughs> that was Let's cool. Find Remy. I wish I'd let it sort of uh I wish I'd let that marinate a little bit. Um what did I miss? Cannibalism. I got it. Thank you for that. Yes. Uh yeah, we uh can't quite catch everything, uh, and I know that you didn't, uh, I know that you understand that, uh, Dragon Mustang, but thank you for that additional call out, uh, that in particular this side quest has some cannibalism. So take care of yourselves. Always want you to hang out, but not at the expense of your comfort. Because what's the point, right? Can you please put the gun away? Gods. <laughs> All right, what's in here? What's in here? A lot of blood is what's in here. Some of the victim's organs are missing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for that heads up. There's a lot of blood in here. Oh, maybe not. Help me. Oh, find Remy we found. Now let's free Remy. Okay, fair enough. Hi, we should talk, I feel like. Are you alright? They were going to Ghost. eat me. Yikes. I know. They brought a group of us here from the slums. Said we'd be safe. I'm the only one left. <laughs> right, Bear Bear. Truly. You're safe now. It's over. Well, I don't know about that. No, it's not. I I'm still stuck in the Badlands. Even though I paid my protection fee. Yeah. I know. The outcast who wrongly kicked you out of Kadara Port. He sent me. Are they going to let me back in? At the very least. Grace and I found Remy. We need a pickup. Thank God. I'll send a shuttle right away. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. You got it. Oh, I'm glad we could help her. Because that was a really awful situation. All right. Oh, my God. We just didn't come around back here to see all the blood, I guess. No, no, no. All right. Now. Oops, where is... Uh, precious cargo, there it is. It's a lot of jam! <laughs> oh, how nice, we have a na- I mean, we have a forward- Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. A forward station right next to it. Um... 
I mean, I can't go anywhere without my car, so I guess. Oops, no, 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 no. Oh, actually, well, no. Let's do this, and then I'll, we'll change stuff later. Because we'll change team, and then I also want to change, I think I, I think I do want to change this shotgun. It doesn't feel particularly shotgunny. Like, it doesn't have, I don't know, the like, something about it doesn't feel shotgunny to me, and you know how I like my snipers, so. A shuttle. Zia and her buyer could be inside. You know, Ryder won't let anyone else drive this thing, right? What? You've driven this thing? Who else? I is it everyone else? Oh. It swings. Never mind. Sorry. But yes. But we're not going in there, we're going in here. Oh, I was like, are we just gonna like, knock on the shuttle door and be like, yo! What if they're more purple? Yes, I'm here, give me a second. I gotta do a scan of the place right quick. Okay. Hmm. Hi, boo. It's empty. This is a setup. What if this was all just some elaborate trick to get you here? Also, yes. You mean? There was never Jam any cargo. Nap. Oh my god. Bravo. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Yeah, it took too long. Zia. Sundu. You could never resist the big Hello, payout. Hello, Zia. What can I say? I'm a greedy man. That's why you don't With have good any taste. friends. You're selfish. Oh, that's not true. Riz is a better man than you think. <laughs> oh, honey. You've no idea how wrong you are. But you will. Call me honey Leave again. Him out of this. <laughs> you must really like this one, Reyes. Cut the shit. What's this all about? You've been taking all the good jobs in Kadara. It's gotten more than my attention. So what? The local smuggling union got together and decided to take me down? Something like that. Ah, oh, shit. Move in. Guess we're fighting. Let's do this! Damn, she went down really fast. They all kind of gone down really fast. Except you. Oh my god! Jesus. So much violence. Was that you, peeps? <laughs> Funny. Weird. Return to the Tempest, it says, to settle Kadara. So we did it. Yeah. Okay. He took their jobs. Someone didn't think that through at all. That is a call out that I did not, uh, I will admit, it did not immediately occurred to me uh that's quite a choice fair <laughs> yeah that one's just sort of sitting on, on my way brain move please because there's something that sam wants me to scan it's apparently not that but i don't know what it is something back here No, it was definitely upstairs that it was giving me the little, hey, turn on your scanner button thingy. What do you want from me? I don't understand. Okay, well, I guess that's it. I just have to accept that sometimes this game is strange. They have spicy tastes. Oh, that's true. I always do assume that it's smart enough to know when it's inside versus outside, but sometimes, particularly if it's a vertical thing, it does get confused. Oh, and it does look like there's another room up here. Oh, no, not... Oh, yeah, on that side. Um, there we go. Put up here. Oh, 
it's you. you. What are you? Oh, a tech node. Okay. Is that it? Was that the thing? I guess so. All right. Now, I was reminded... That, that... Now, whenever I see a little red dot outside, I'm like, we're gonna die. I was reminded that there's a fun and very fast way to get straight back to the Tempest when we're in the car, which is this. I love that you love that little anti-gravity bounce thing. I do. I love it a lot. It is Tempest time. Yes, it is. So, uh, request away, Wings. How many people in Andromeda got concussions from forgetting their... <laughs> yes. Because the answer is at least one. Rider. Me. Pathfinder, you have new email. Of course I do. Um, as soon as you let me know what the, uh, take, what you would like me to do, um, I would request that we take some time to read the emails in full. There are some gems. Ooh, okay. Because it would also be me. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's what we'll do. We'll read a chunk of them now. We'll take a break. We'll come back and see kind of where we are in the list and read some more. And then, uh, do whatever it is we need to do to settle Kadara. Okay, we do have a couple of these. Uh, Ryder, thanks again for your help with Zia and the Rokar. I owe you something special, and I think I found just the thing. Give me a call when you have a minute. Or at least, yeah, totally, totally, totally. I like this plan. I'm excited about it. Also, now we have a thing to do with Ryder. Oh. To Ryder from Sellers. I don't remember who that is. I wanted to send my appreciation for, oh, clearing my dear friend Sanjeev's name. Okay. I hate to imagine the ordeal he was subjected to by the exiles who took him, but it is my heart good to know that he'll be remembered as a faithful member of this incredible endeavor and not a traitor. Maybe now I can finally put the Nexus Revolts behind me and start living the future. I hope so. I hope so. Um, hey, Wings, let me ask you, would you like us to start at the bottom with the oldest ones or at the top with the newest ones? Since, you know, we may not get to all of them today. <laughs> Is the thing a dinner and a movie? Hello? Andromeda, Netflix, and chill? Hello? <coughs> Excuse me. Start at the bottom since some go in order. You got it. I don't know why I chose to get to the bottom this way when I know that they circle around. <coughs> but here we are. <coughs> Choking on our water. Um, yes, that is a good idea. And we also, <coughs> excuse me, we also, um, okay, I can, yeah, we'll do a little bit of, we might switch it up, uh, midway in SME, depending on how it feels, but I like that. Oh, now I've got the hiccups because I choked on my water. Water is supposed to do the opposite. It's supposed to help you stop coughing on hiccups, and now it gave me both. Shit. <laughs> oh, damn it.
<laughs> no worries. I, I appreciate it. But yeah, I, I, uh, <clears throat> I got that one covered. All right. Uh, this one looks like there is a Kahlo joke at the end. So we'll start here. <laughs> but the water betrayed you. Well, right. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. All right. <clears throat> uh, Reiner. <laughs> this is now Lexi's voice, which I love. Um, all right, here we go. Ryder, I've completed my analysis of the injuries you suffered on Habitat 7 during the fall. Well, both falls, including the facial damage occurred when your helmet shattered, which I forgot about. Those uh, hairline subsurface fractures are mending nicely. If you want to monitor the healing process, there's a facial reconstruction suite installed in the Tempest Med Bay. Okay, Colin, I'm going to skip around until we get the funny bit. Colin claims the suite runs on antiquated xenon. I think that's one of his little jokes. Okay. Um, that's from PB and looks to be actually important. Okay. Something about... We yeah, uncovered something that the cat extremely dangerous. Huh. Priest scourge. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's about the remnant. Antiquated xenon. Yeah, I don't think I get the joke. Didn't call it IRLCC. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, it should be. Uh, seems like a great idea. I'd love to help stop by when you can. Yeah, we did that. Come by when you got a minute. I want to run this by you. Yeah, we did that. From Cora. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, this, I, anything that has titles, the Xenon the Antiquarian from, that's really good. What a fun little Easter egg that I am too bad at names to get. Yep. <laughs> oh, yay. I'm glad I wasn't the only, I'm glad I wasn't the only one. All right, uh, I know you're busy, but uh, uh, but Cerise's manuals and uh, no, uh, uh, hey, uh, there it is. I know you're busy, but uh, Cerise's manuals and writings really are worth reading if you get some downtime, especially a rock in the maelstrom. Her classic work on crisis strategy, strategy and emergency protocols. First three centuries, the new heart. Okay, are any of these funny? Speeches and silences. None of these are funny. Okay, moving on. Uh, and, uh, Wings, if I skip on one that you were thinking of that we should go through, uh, just poke me and let me know. List of media themed to community. Genres include century old station, situation comedies, sitcoms, and documentaries about research partnerships. Also a music- Okay, we gotta read this one because it references Little Shop of Horrors. Here we go! Proud of Varl. I mean, sure, living there wouldn't have been fun. That planet is one pterodactyl away from a Jurassic fun fair, but- we, what we did for the Angara will go a long way to making us good neighbors. We need that, especially with the scourge restricting the neighborhood. Security is talking, is training up on what the locals know about local fauna. Outposts are not Havarl helps. That's funny. Okay, so genres include century-old sitcoms and documentaries about research partnerships. That feels like a reference to, but I can't quite piece it together. And then the musical about a man eating plan is Little Shop of Horrors, which is amazing. Need some tea and honey. Yeah, right? Uh, this is the Rex version of everything, and I'm going to do a few more in the voice uh, because I, uh, for Nisembi, because I went in and out, and the timer just went up, but I did It's fine. Um, okay, if anyone knows what the sitcom and documentary joke is here, let me know. Um, Ship Doctor's been in the Vortex alone. Oh, yeah, we talked about that already. Could use your help with something. Sure. A lot of messages. Congratulations. Oh, this is from Jal. Aw. Jal's all excited. Sitcom equals... Oh, maybe it was just the community show. That's... Okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, Ryder, I told... Aw! A kid's story from Jal. Oh, we have to read this. Non-work-related email from Jal. Communication from Jal. Aw, that's cute. Another communication from Jal. Uh, oh, it is also an office joke. Okay, and Parks and Rec. They think it's interview. Documentaries. That's what it is. Thank you, Kosim. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, Ryder. I uh, told Liam and PB and Lexi a children's story that the mothers used to tell us when we were small. It's uh, from our oral history. 
uh, of the time before the scourge. The crew said I should write it down so it can be added to the cultural center on Nexus. Uh, the wayward child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to anyone. I <laughs> wonder who that is. Not from her father, not from her many mothers. One day, seeking adventure, she snuck aboard a spaceship with an unknown destination. The child was brave to seek adventure. However, she ended up getting spaced with a load of garbage. Deservedly, she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died. The end. I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? Holy shit, y'all. Damn. Uh, yay, we're allowed to go into the Eye of Vault. She wants to be ready to assist you once Meridian is found. I love that. <laughs> yeah, like that, Jal. You, I mean, you got it in one. Another communication from Jal. These subject lines are amazing. <laughs> Pathfinder Rider of the Human Initiative. Does he do that in all of them? No, wildly, just in this one. Uh, heard privately from the Ephra. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're gonna read this all, but why is that first paragraph in here twice? I've heard privately from Ephra, the leader of our resistance. He's impressed that we were able to help our scientists on Havarl, and I've made sure that he knows that you played a key role. Tell Jal about the Brothers Grimm. Ha <laughs> ha Yes, same mind you two. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then it's the same paragraph again. Of course, he's also quite impressed with the success of our joint mission to save the Moshai. Maybe he's already said these things to you. CC to someone. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, of course, he's already quite impressed. I know he Maybe he's already said these things to you, but if I know Ephra, he probably hasn't. As for me, I've learned a lot about trust. Being on this team, letting myself be open to trusting you and the others. I've learned trust is more of a feeling than a science. It seems like it's a universal truth. Universal. Get it? Oh, Jal. I'll try to be even more trustful in the future. This assignment might change my life. Good night, Jal. Oh, Jal, what a good bean. All right. Well, it is a little after four, which means it is time. It's one about Vold and one about Havarl. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of them does say Vold. Wild. Wild. Good eye, Wings. Good eye. Um, yes, it is time for a thirst break. Uh, I am gonna go drink water, and you all can thirst after James Vega. Enjoy! talking about something other than business. Maybe later? No, no! I was sitting in front of his nipple the whole time! I'm so sorry! Shit! Yeah, there it is. There's the angle. Sorry, my head was right. I want to kick the Reaper straight to hell. Caden is as boring as a sack of mayonnaise, but when he had his shirt off at the hospital, it wasn't hard to look at. It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Ha <laughs> ha! She doesn't sweat. No, I'll bet she does. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun you're having. Game night, Samantha Train. Commander, thanks for taking the time to speak with the civilian. I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills times between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? Promise a night of fun and games. Trainer. Okay. Joker gave me. Well, they never got this far. Shocker. There was the part about sleeping together, but this is. I don't. Kiss him! 
Kiss him. Shut him up and you kiss him. When you've got me. <sighs> oh, yes, dip me. I'm Garrus Vicarian, code name Archangel, all round Turian bad boy and dispenser of justice in an unjust galaxy. All right, that's pretty hot. Now you're getting it. Oh, I sure as fuck am. Dance it out. So, uh, tell me, think a girl would fall for that? Uh huh. Oh, hell yes. I see you've been putting that reach and flexibility to good use. Uh, you know it. And it gets even better when you try it in bed. I got the hots for James. I don't. I, I didn't really. I mean, it's like now is such an inappropriate time to talk about. That is not what you were picking up on. Everyone back on Earth. I got this one. Oh fuck yeah, James. Oh, that's so hot. I. Alright, James. You're hot and you have good taste in shitty vehicles. Let's talk. Such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make yes. all this flirting? Yes! You! Uh, holy shit, James. How dare you be so casually sexy? God damn it. Brooke, she's kinda cute. Think she's on the market? Fight me. Shepard. Please. You've been holding out on me. Get sweaty. What? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy. Oh, I'm sorry. You weren't talking to... I'm so sorry. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> what happened was... Uh, we came... I started saying something. James took off his shirt. I flew backwards. Such was the strength of my thirst. And as I flew backwards, are you ready for the Rube Goldberg machine of shit that just happened? I knocked my green screen, which is here. You can't, it can't see it because that's the idea. I knocked my green screen, behind which is my, you can't see this either, but my light. And so the green screen knocked into the light. The light is on a tripod, one of the legs of which is right next to the ethernet cable that is plugged into my computer and the modem. Uh, and so when I hit the green screen, which hit the light, which jiggled the ethernet cord, which cut stream. Um, so. <laughs> Um, we're going to get back to uh, Mass Effect Andromeda in just a minute, but I forgot that uh, also today we're breaking up the Andromeda space play a little bit to open up some boxes. Oh my goodness, between two gays, what is up? Your timing is incredible. BTG Raid, what's up? Perfectly Pika, welcome in. Your timing is excellent, Raiders. Welcome in. Hi, Christy MJM. Hello between two gays. Ooh. I 
mean, mushrooms typically are. <laughs> windy, windy. Jesus! Fungus. This is such a rude fungus. <laughs> a rude fungus. That's right. It was a rude fungus. I hope your stream went well today. How was Stardew Valley? Um, we are going to switch back to Mass Effect Andromeda uh, very shortly, but I was sent a box of fun toys uh, from Steamforge Games, and I wanted to open some of them with you all, because I haven't looked at any of them yet. Um, we're going to save the Animal Adventures starter box, uh, which is probably the one I'm most excited about. Uh, we're going to save that one for last. <laughs> uh, stream was great. We got a lot done. Much farming was had. I am glad to hear it. Um, I also realized that I don't really have ideal camera set up for this, um, but it's fine. Okay, the very first one that I want to open is, oh, let's take the plastic wrap off so you all can see it a little better, um, is Epic Encounters Tower of the Lich Empress. So my understanding of these Epic Encounters boxes is that they just have everything you need in them. They've got minis, they've got maps, they've got uh, stat blocks and tactics and narrative suggestions, but just for, like, a uh, encounter, right? Okay, so here we go. Here is Tower of the Lich Empress. And so, let's see what we get inside here. Oh, let's put you down there. Okay, so I've got uh, first thing up at the top is a little booklet, which has, I think, everything that we're looking for in terms of, like, that I just mentioned in it. Yeah. Oh, cool. We'll read some of this, because this is very neat how they do this, actually. This is clever. I assume this, uh, 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 I would like to be a Lich Empress. Yes, absolutely. Right? The boxes are beautiful. Okay, let's be honest. I'm going to dig down to the mini that's in this box, because when I talked to Ross, he was like, the mini in that one is amazing. So, okay, here we go. It's in like a plastic, uh, what do you call it? Like a bubble pack or whatever. Oh, is it taped somewhere? Yes. This is, I understand this is a terrible camera angle to do this at because you can't see most of what I'm doing. Also, apparently I'm very bad at unboxing things. Okay, here we go. Thanks for believing in me, Steph. This actually is very cool looking. Okay, so this appears to be... Hang on. So it's coming in pieces uh, that I'm going to put together, and I'll show you her final form. Um, but it looks like it's... Well, it's really just two of these pieces and then four more smaller little plastic things to add. Oh, I see where they go. Oh. Wait, do these go in particular places? Because that seems a little bananas. Oh, there we go. This is cool. Unboxing things is a talent that I feel like most people don't have. Yeah, well, I certainly don't. So this will probably, I mean, not this box, but today will like, likely be the last one you all ever see here as I am, uh, as I am learning. Uh, but that's okay. We're chill here and we're going to do it our way. Um, okay, this is very cool. Um, it is not painted, but it is primed in a couple of different colors. Um, and it is this Lich Queen, or Lich Empress, excuse me, on her throne with some what look like maybe flame skulls. I dropped one of them. Flame skulls in front of it. As soon as I get the last one on, I'll actually show it to you all because it is very cool. I hope we can get enough detail on the camera for you to see it properly get in there please flame skull i am the master of your master so do what i tell you there we go all right let's see if i can get it to not focus on my face and focus on this beauty instead sort of kinda so there she is it's a little hard to tell let's see if i can it's a little hard to see the detail on her, but it's very cool. And I think they have, yeah, on the back of the box is a representation of a painted version of it. If I can find it, there it is. Um, oh, interestingly enough, 
The flame skulls are green, so they're getting keyed out. Uh, that's hilarious. I'm bad at unboxing. This is awesome, though. Um, this last little flame skull does not want to stay in, but this this uh, mini is very cool. Um, this whole throne thing on the back. Very cool. Um, okay, so you get a little map that comes with it for your encounter in her tower. So let's have, wow. Okay, I'm going to move this mic real quick. The uh, map is lovely. Uh, it's not like it's not a dry erase one, but it's on slightly heavier stock paper. Lovely map. You get a little. Oh, you get tokens. You get the one. I got the one mini, but there are also tokens for all of the, I guess, other creatures you might encounter, including an Iron Skull Death Rider and Iron Skull Andabata. Uh, some Iron Skeleton Duelists, and some Iron Skeleton Archers. Okay, now what I really am excited about, aside from the mini. <clears throat> I want to page through this book, because I don't, I still don't exactly know what they have in here. So, we won't do this for all four of the encounters, but I kind of want to step through this one. Because also, I think Tower of the Lich Empress it just recently released. So if you all have some of these, but don't have this one, I think it has just come out. Um, okay. So in this book, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you still need character sheets uh, and all of the other books and stuff. Oh, now this is interesting. Epic Encounters, and I think this is true for all of them. Epic Encounters are divided into three tiers of play, making them suitable for as many different player groups as possible. The damage level and difficulty class of each check specified during the encounter is broken into three tiers of play shown in the table below. Whenever the text calls for a standard DC check or specifies the creature suffers standard damage, refer to the appropriate box below. Uh, so low tier levels one through four, the standard DC is 12 and the standard damage is a D4. And then levels five to 10 is DC 14 and a D8 of damage. And levels uh, 10 and up is DC 18 and a D10 of basic damage. For this encounter also, we recommend... Oh, this is interesting. I was wondering how they handled this. Uh, we recommend lower tier players take on the Lich Baroness, middle tier players take on the Lich Queen, and higher tier players take on the Lich Empress. So that's... So even the boss can scale. Turn the map around to show... Oh, no! Uh, I know you said duelist, but I heard doulas, and I... <laughs> Takes a real strange turn. Um, okay, there's some fun art in the book. Uh, uh, when you get to the encounter part. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a big... I'm not, I'm not going to read the whole thing. If you all want to see the whole thing, you know, you can, you can get a copy. But, uh, so there's a story here about the Lich, it looks like. It does not die. Millennia old, skin that is long ago become translucent like ancient parchment, revealing the atrophy of muscle beneath. And that goes on for a bit. Um, killing one, and then after this, killing one may save the world, but how do you kill what can't die? The following lore may offer you some insight. Use it all, or just pick what search, uh, what suits your game, and then it has one, two, three, four, five lore points that you could share with your players, including, let's pick a short one. The Lich's mind remains intact, despite its transformation, but it is not perfectly preserved. Over the millennia, it atrophies, parts of it sloughing away as the sentiments of human reality are removed by time, replaced with a growing cosmicism, a vision of the pointlessness of any existence not infinitely extended. Interesting. So little bits like that for your players. The player characters have arrived here for a reason, but what is it? Choose one of these adventure hooks and weave it into your story. The players could arrive by accident, they could have been plotting this moment for years. Choose what works for you, and then once again... We have five little bullet point options for this. Uh, let's roll a d6 to pick which one I read. 
Of course, I rolled a six and there are only five. One, a historian is willing to pay handsomely for an escort into a ruined city of the old empire that once dominated this area of the world. It should be a simple task. Examining the toppled buildings, combing through the remains. But things are very different when you get there. Ooh, that's a fun hook. And there's a bunch more after that. What else is in here? Things, a list of, uh, looks like eight things you might find in the uh the tower where the lich empress lives uh, i don't know where my d8 is so we're not gonna do that uh let's see one of the things you might find in the tower is finger bones of different species of humanoids forced into the wall like picture hooks whoa okay so some some atmospheric things oh and then this is what i knew i heard that this was in here and I think this is such a cool thing that they do, and I'm glad they do it, um, which is they give you two things. They give you a couple of paragraphs about tactics of the main boss, and then later on, they give you this, like, flow chart of attack patterns for the boss, which I think is very cool. I mean... Also, it appears that they think that combat is going to last, you know, more than three rounds. So that's a thing. But, like, what a cool idea to give you a, a rotation of ways to use lots of the Lich's abilities. That's cool. I also think, well, let's keep reading. All right, so tactics. Um, the Lich has to survive for millennia because she's a genius. Uh, this makes fighting her extremely dangerous and tricky. Uh, she can't really be tricked. She can't really be outgunned. Uh, wow. Okay. Have the Lich Empress mirror the player character's moves. If they cast spells on themselves to, uh, ready for later rounds, so does the Lich. If they move, if they start to move into a well-established fighting formation, the Lich attempts to disrupt it. Or summon skeletons to mirror the player character's moves. That's interesting. In essence, a player character gone rogue. It's at 20th level and decided didn't want it to retire. Plan it accordingly. This is really interesting. Um, the following section gives you a range of different elements you can introduce into your encounter to make it as memorable as possible. Feel free to use this as a checklist, referring to it throughout the fight, or just pick up the bits that you want. The reliquary factor. Ah, what happens when you finally defeat the Lich if the reliquary is nearby? Ways to use the terrain that it's set out. Across the tower, you see the ugly shapes of cages where prisoners have been kept ready for the most sadistic experiments, which you can swing on. Uh, some interesting... It's got a couple of different rooms. So it walks you through the rooms, gives you scrolls that you might find in the library. Um, walks you through a bunch of different spaces with little GM tips in a couple of different spaces, which is very cool. The attack patterns... Um, some additional powerful abilities for the Lich. Drawing on the dark, teleport, whirling vortex, the throne of broken earth. Cool. Some new layer abilities for the, rit for the Lich. Rise my minions, restoration, and kneel before your god. Wow. All kinds of cool stuff. And then at the end... <clears throat> It gives you, <clears throat> excuse me, it gives you uh, rewards for the party. So it gives you gold if there are magic items, depending on what tier of play, lower, middle, higher. This is really interesting. Some stat blocks for the creatures that it mentioned in here. This really is a whole, I mean, this is more than an encounter. This can, uh, this is a whole adventure in a book, really. Stuff for the Lich Baroness, stuff for the Lich Queen, stuff for the Lich Empress, who is CR 21 for the record. Yeah. The art is also very fun in all of this. Okay, so that's a... Yeah, right. Uh, so that's that's one of the epic encounter books. Wow. It's got a lot more in here than I realized. Uh, that's very cool. It's got a lot... I'm going to keep this out for a little while. She's just very fun. I'm going to put her up here. Um, yeah, right? Now I want this for my party. I mean, it's very cool. We'll go through, I, I, we're not going to go through quite that, in quite that much detail, all of them, but I am curious, I am curious if that is, uh, like, fairly standard what we can expect from these books, because that's kind of a lot, I have to say. 
What they don't tell you is the reboxing part of unboxing. Unboxing news. Okay. Um. Well, let's keep with the undead theme. Since we started with the Lich Queen, I promise we will also get back to Andromeda, but there's so much stuff that they sent me and I haven't looked at any of it because I wanted to do it with you all. Um, okay, since we're already on Undead, let's go to the next one. I'll take the plus crab off, uh, which is Arena of the Undead Horde. Hi, Lauren. Welcome in. You're just in time for us to unbox our next epic encounter from Steamforged Games. I need her to come pre-painted because I'm too lazy for this. That's the only thing, is like, the the art of her on the back of that box was gorgeous, and I, it's not going to look like that <laughs> when I do it. Okay, so this one is Arena of the Undead Horde. Some very cool art again. Beautiful boxes. Okay, let's see what got, this one's got for us. Holy bananas, there are so many minis, you all. <laughs> okay, it's a whole thing of minis. Wait, let me take the plastic off the top of them so you all can see them a little bit better. My goodness, there are so many. When I was done collecting minis, I was wrong. Okay, I don't want them to fall out, but I do want you all to be able to see. Yeah, there we go. I'll pull some of them out so we can take a closer look in a minute. But, oh my god, a horde of minis. Okay. Um, again, they are unpainted, but they are all very cool. I don't know how much detail you guys are going to, you all will get to actually see. Oh, there we go. The camera's taking it in okay. Look at this monster. I don't know what it is. It doesn't say on the bottom. It just has the Steam Forge logo on the bottom. Um, that's one of them. Oh, here's another one, even more horrifying. This looks like some sort of... Oh, I don't even know what this is. Is it a centaur skeleton? Is it some sort of horrible, like, several skeletons combined together? What is it? I don't know. But it's very cool. Why not both? Good point. Uh, what else? Oh, we got a friend. Look, it's an aminal friend. Aminal friend mini. Look at... Come on, focus for me. Hello, Aminal friend. Skeletar, yes. <laughs> uh, and then there's a bunch of smaller ones. Archers and uh, melee fighters and swordsmen and axemen and all that kind of stuff. Wow. So many. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's have a look at, for me to post pics here, here's the product link. There you go. Thank you, Fair. <laughs> um, all right, let's take a quick look at the map and the book. Oh, wow. I got to move the mic again for the map. Hello, sorry, I forgot it was over there. Um, yeah, okay, so the map is nice. All kinds of fun stuff in there. Um, implements of torture and all sorts of things. Now let's take a quick look at this book to get a sense of the scope of this adventure. Okay, same thing in the front. Same DCs and, and standard damages, depending on what tier of play you're in. Okay. What brings you to this accursed place? Hooks. Um, locations, a number of specific locations. The crowd. Adventurers are able, unable to... Oh. So it looks like they're... Wild. 
Um, so here we have again the areas of the map marked out. Hello. <laughs> uh, the spike pit. Oh, I'm curious about that spike pit. I want to know about that spike pit. A large hole dug into the ground filled with spikes. Difficulty. It's difficult to describe a pike pit in any other way. Oh, I thought it was like a grinder, but I guess it's just a spike pit. Well, I'm going to make it another grinder if I ever use this adventure or this uh, encounter. Um, here's another view of the other side of the map with some rooms listed. Training dummies. Hilarious. There's a weapons rack. Sometimes the dummies, it's got a D6 table for reactions. When uh, when you try and practice on them, maybe they... Let's see. <laughs> the first time a player character is within five feet of one of the training dummies, the GM should roll a d6 on the following table. I rolled a four, which is vicious mockery. With a rasp, the dummy's mouth opens and an ugly childlike voice begins to mock everything the PC does or attempts to do. While the player character is within five feet of the training dummy, they make all attacks at disadvantage. That's very funny. That's very clever. Okay, and then we've got the stats for all of the different minis. So the archers, pretty standard, CR one fourth. Um, those are they're technically called. I mean, I like skeletars. Uh, this book is is calling them uh, iron skull leonites. So I guess they're lions. Uh, they're CR one. Iron skull knight is CR three. Iron skull executioner with a big axe is two. The duelist is three. Ooh, the Death Rider. That's the other the other thing. Oh, that was the thing that we called the Skeletar, is the Death Rider. Uh, that's a CR. Only a CR2. That surprises me a little bit. The Andabata was the first one I showed you with the club and the blindfold. That one's a CR7. Very cool. All right, so this one was also, like, I know it says Encounter, but this, like, could be a multi-session adventure. You have to set up how to get there and stuff, but they do give you information about it in there, talking about the, the civilization that used to exist where now there are only ruins and that it's all undead there and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's get to this one next. I'm going to start moving through these a little faster. Death Rider CR2 is calcium deficient. CR3 worked for a dairy farm. <laughs> okay, this is the Lair of the Red Dragon. Let's take a look at this. We're going to change up the order. We're going to do the map first. Oh, this is a very pretty map. Lovely map. Uh, this one has tokens as well. A couple of lava pool tokens. So I guess that uh, moves around. And then a bunch of little cobalts. Because of course there are. Firebrand kobolds. You know I love me a kobold, but I bet these are meant to be evil, which makes me sad. <laughs> um, and then, this is another, mm, this comes with a single mini, and it needs to be put together. It is a. It is in three pieces. I'm going to try and real quick see if I, oh, it's pretty easy too, looks like. Pretty simple. Oh my, he says, and then he breaks it. No, I didn't break it. Okay, well, we'll just sort of tap them in there for now, and I'll get them put in properly later. Look at this beautiful! Sitting on a gold hoard. And here is our beautiful red dragon. Say, no takey! No takey! None for you! Just mine! This is awesome. Primed in red, so very easy to like just do a little bit of painting to get like highlights and shadows and accents and stuff. I think you get to stay here on the desk for a little while too. Yeah, that's very cool. I am very curious what they, how they handle the varying CRs of this dragon and the parties that may go through. Let's see. For this encounter, we recommend... Aha! For this encounter, we recommend lower tier players take on the red young red dragon, middle tier the adult, and higher the ancient. I will say, I would be real... If you get these, here's the one thing that I will say. I would be really careful about 
using the tier of play as these products define them that is appropriate for your group. And don't necessarily go just by what they call the tiers of play because they're calling their higher tier levels 10 and up. But I wouldn't, I don't know that I would throw an ancient red dragon at a 10th or 11th level party. Um, same thing with a t CR 21 Lich Empress. I don't think I would throw that at a at a 10th or 11th level party. So I would say if you do end up with any of these and you do end up using them, I would say use your best judgment on some of this stuff in terms of deciding what tier of play your party is. Because, um, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, new new art on the inside. Very creepy dragon art. I Oops, I love it. All right, let's see what else is in here. Uh, we have prompts about what they know about the dragon, prompts about the dragon's lair, things you might find in the lair. Once again, tactics for the dragon. Ooh, some aspects of the encounter. It's always very hot. There's a lot of bright light. There are choking fumes. Yeah, right, Tully? Oh, dear. Plastic is going everywhere. Um, I'm just going to put you down here. That's fine. Uh, using the terrain, it tells you prompts to remember how to do that. Breaks up, once again, the various layer areas. Ooh, good. This one also... Oh, this is interesting. The player characters get to choose how they approach this battle, but they don't get to do so without some form of response from their foe. Detailed below on the dragon's tactics based on three potential approaches the characters might take. If the, character uh, play if the PCs attempt a direct assault, a tactical advance, or just approach open and honestly and want to chat. And it has tips for all of those. Um, this one also looks like it has an attack pattern flowchart for the dragon, which I appreciate. Um, although cute to think that the dragon's going to last seven rounds. Yikes. Some new abilities for the dragon. Things like summoning minions, magma eruptions, gas leak, tremors, tail lash, lava diving. Um, treasure at the end, treasure tables depending on the difficulty at the end, and then a bunch of stat blocks for the various dragons and the kobolds. Okay, very nice. We have one more epic adventure, and then we get to play with animals, and then we get to play Andromeda. Um, okay, the last one is the Shrine of the Kobold Queen. Average dragon breath can break a lot of fights. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. All right, so here is our Cobalt Queen Shrine box. I think this one has a ton of minis, too. Yep. Oh, not as many. Oh, but still a fair number. Come on, where is the... There we go. Jeez, yeah, no, there are a lot of them. Here's another set of minis. The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Um, Alright, let's see if we can grab a couple of these to view. Oh, I found my favorite. Are you my favorite? I think you're my favorite. Look at them. He's flying. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. Focus for me, please. There you go. Hard to make out a ton of detail with this light and camera and it being flat red like this, but convert it to 5e. Want. Want now. Please plus want now. Uh oh, here's another little Angie Cobalt. Look, it's an Angie Cobalt shaman. Oh, please, please focus so they can at least sort of see. Angie Cobalt Shaman. These are very cute. A lot of these are very cute. Don't, not exactly sure what this is. Some sort of terrifying lizard creature or something with, oh, is it a basilisk? It's got eight legs. I think it might be a basilisk, I just realized. Okay, cool. Love the minis. Let's see what the map looks like. Ooh, this one's a whole fun encampment. Yes, fair. I heartily agree and now kind of want to do that. Um, this has got a whole encampment on one side. And on the other side, looks like it's underneath the encampment. They've dug some tunnels out. 
and have some space in there. A quick glance through the booklet. What you got for us? Shrine of the Cobalt Queen. Uh, oh, fun art here. You are tempting. <laughs> Tempt. Tempt away. Oh my god, guts are American Ninja Warrior. Sure. Okay, a little bit about Mother Krangor, the Queen of Kobolds, and her backstory. Um, some rumors about Mother Krangor and the Cult of the Bloody Flame. Yikes. Uh, adventure hooks again. Fergus stage of this adventure focuses on the Firebrand Cobalt Camp. Ah, so this is broken up. You gotta get through the camp, and then she must be downstairs. Enemies, reinforcement, what happens if they sound the alarm? Stuff in a pit, stuff in cobalt huts. Okay, and then you make it down to the caverns. Yeah, this is another one. This is a full sending you letters in the mail asking you once again. To... <laughs> um, this is another, like, this is for sure just a full little adventure. Yeah. It's got box text and everything. Okay, I'm curious about... Oh, wait, does this have a... I'm curious what this says to do about parties. This encounter is designed for lower level play. Oh, interesting. With a few tweaks and experience, GM should be able to make it suitable for medium play level play as well. Oh, but this is never... Okay, so Shrine of the Cobalt Queen, as written, is not going to be a high level challenge for your players, I guess. That thing that I held out is called a Magma Belcher Basilisk. New creature, CR3. Absolutely horrifying. <laughs> Yeah, Mother Kranger is only CR4, so this is definitely for a lower level group. Um, Very cool. These are very cool, and I already have ideas to where I might be able to use one or two of them in some home campaigns that I've got going on. Please close, Box. Please just do me this one favor. Thank you. Okay, well, it's time for Aminals. So excited. That was all also very exciting, but Price is Right game for shopping episodes. Okay, this is Animal Adventures RPG starter set. Look at these very good boys, girls, and other animals. Uh, I think I mentioned this earlier, but this is geared for beginner role players. But as with anything, you could certainly, uh, you know, zhuzh it up, I'm sure. This box also, oh, that pup absolutely has a sword, yes. Scimitar, it appears. And that cat looks very angry. Um, this also comes with a multi a multi-room map, it looks like, for you to go all kinds of fun places. Got a little grove on the back. Oh my god, supermarket sweep, yes, please. Lovely map times here. The adventure book, rule book and adventure book. Oh, I'm curious. Oh, wow, this is a good beginner thing. It lists out the dice shapes and explains how many sides and what they're called, what we call them. Explains what a role playing game is. Oh, it explains attributes with kitties and puppies. Are you <laughs> charisma? Uh, this measures how likable or charming a character is. Are you the cutest thing on four legs, or are you just moderately adorable? <laughs> Amazing. Very basically explains DCs, advantage and disadvantage. It's very simplified combat rule, or like a uh, like a simplification of combat. And then the adventure in here. Now I want to be able to be a host of Weakest Link for... Oh my god, yes. The Curse of Dr. Krankenstein is apparently the adventure in this delightful little book. Um, this adventure is designed to simplify the introduction to role-playing games, but don't worry if you still feel like there's a lot to manage. Oh, sure. Oh, so it even tells you, don't worry... This is great. It breaks up the adventure into scenes, it looks like. So not necessarily just locations, but it actually gives you a little bit of, like, narrative through line to go to use, which is super helpful. Love that. Oh, it's kind of a long one, too. Nice. 
Ending the adventure, next steps, enemy encyclopedia for creature for stat blocks for creatures for this adventure. They don't even list. Oh, interesting. They list their speed in squares. Uh, and they don't list uh, challenge ratings. So this is definitely very meant to be sort of very self-contained. That's interesting. Okay. Oh my goodness, wait. This comes with a DM screen. An adorable little three-panel DM screen. Oh, that's very smart. That has, so there are, we were going to get to this in a minute, but there are um, pre-gen character sheets for, looks like, six different characters. And their stats and abilities and stuff are in this DM screen. And then also, so are the four different enemy types that you might encounter on this adventure. So they're right there on the screen for you. Um, and then on this side, looks like, oh, cool. So it looks like it's a, a, remind, a refresher of what combat is and how it works. And then a random potion table and a reminder that there are some uh, tiles for that you might want to use uh, in this campaign to represent different important things. That is a very cool, obviously very, like, specific, uh, but a very cool design for a DM screen. I like that a lot. Um, all right, so we've got the tokens for all of our non-player uh, characters. We have, oh, you all, these character sheets are adorable. Look at how cute this is. Okay, I'm gonna, well, let's, let's go through the characters, because uh, this will be the last thing we do, and then we'll play some Aspect again. But, uh, so this is Kai, the Shiba Inu cleric. I practice the ways of the good mother, striving to be the best dog I can be to bring well-being and happiness to all of my animal brethren. But woe betide my enemies, I'm much less friendly to them. Oh, cute. Spell list on the back, special abilities on the back. Uh, this is Chantilly, our Labrador fighter. Oof, Godspeed, fair. I don't like my name. What kind of a name is Chantilly for someone who serves, for someone as skilled with a blade as me? I love it. Uh, I hope so, Kosen. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, it looks like there are seven characters. Ah, Whisper, our first cat. The Sorcerer Sphinx cat. Oh, I wonder if Dan's here. It's Archie, but as a sorcerer. Whisper. I am a powerful sorcerer, capable of weaving webs magic whenever I choose. Uh, <laughs> Dan, it's Archie. It's Archie with some earrings and a hat and also magic powers. Focus, damn it, camera. Oh well. Anyway, there's there's Archie. Uh all right, next up is Elvis, the Cavalier Bard. What a cutie that hat. That hat. Um ha. I am a creator of laughter and a teller of tales. Everything I do, I do with a theatrical flourish. I love it. Oh, no. Solon, the Persian warlock. Wow. Wow. I think I just found my character. I definitely am more of a dog person, generally speaking, but wow. Look at them. I'm a cat of elegance, of grace, of distinction, even. Sold. Uh, next up is Molly, the Lycoy Rogue. Oh, Molly looks cute. Oops, this way. Oh, this way. Molly looks sweet. Except for when she stabs you. Um, what? This gold? No, no, I have no idea where I got it. Must have fallen into my pockets. Along with those candlesticks. Oh, and that clock. Yes, and that silver cutlery. No, I'd never steal. And you can't trust what those guards say. They're idiots. And finally, ah, Brianna, our boxer paladin. So no, unfortunately, no pug like we wanted. But there's, there's Brienne. Brienne, Brienne. Brianna. Excuse me, Brianna. Who also looks perfect. I'm a warrior for justice, bound to my oath to bring light 
into darkness. But I'm also a fan of a juicy snake. Even the bravest need a break sometimes. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Um, and then it comes with minis of all of those characters that we just talked about and a set of dice where the highest number on every die is a paw print, which is just adorable. I love it. Very cute. The minis are all very specific, too, uh, in terms of weapons and stuff. Uh, and then I have a bunch of boxes of more characters. And I'm wondering... No. Okay. Let's see if these have... I don't imagine that they do. The boxes are a little small. Yeah. Okay. So we have... Yeah, that's all. Okay. One of my party members. Daughters who wants to get into D&D? Yes! Yes, absolutely! Um, okay, so this has just a bunch more minis of characters. And I know that right now you can mostly just see my camera. So sorry about that. Um, but I'll tell you who's in here is, uh, Sonia, the main coon fighter, Han, the dragon, dragon Lee monk. I guess it's a type of cat. Uh, Indy, the ragdoll bard. These, oh, these are all cats. Solon, the Persian warlock. Verandi, Verdandi, excuse me, the Norwegian forest druid. And Barnabas, the Korat paladin. Oh, so this is a box called uh, Cats and Catacombs, Questing Tooth and Claw, Volume 2. Interesting. Fluffiest druid ever, right? Uh, okay, this next one, I don't know if y'all can, yeah, you can sort of see this big boy here that I'm excited about. Uh, this is Dungeons and Doggies, Adventures Unleashed, Volume 1. We have Cornelius, the Golden Retriever Wizard, who has a giant, where is he? Who has a giant fluff or a giant wizard's hat that you can't really see, but oh, there you kind of can. Um, Tedric the Chihuahua Rogue. Oh my god, he's up here and he's perfect. Look at how little he is. Ah! Cerise, the Saint Bernard Cleric, which is oops, which is this one here. And then Svetlana, the Beagle Barbarian, Morgane, the Dachshund Sorcerer, and Flint, the Blue Heel Ranger. This is Dungeons and Doggos Adventures Unleashed Volume 2. So we got six more dogs. Uh, oh my goodness. The Pomeranian's the best one in this set. Come on, focus. There's our little Pomeranian buddy. That is Nightingale, the Pomeranian monk. We also have Montague, the Cocker Spaniel Bard. Tobias, the Corgi Warlock. Freya, the German Shepherd Druid. Hartley, the French Bulldog Fighter. There you go. And Cassandra, the Husky Paladin. Right, Wings? And last but not least, our final box, and then I promise we will play some Mass Effect, but thank you all for bearing with me because this is all adorable and very exciting to me. Uh, this is Cats and Catacombs Volume 1, Questing Tooth and Claw. Whoa. Oh, there are some really interesting ones in here. Okay, so uh, there is Paucus the Bobtail Barbarian, whose hackles are permanently raised, apparently. And then, let's see, we have Hesta. Oh, Hesta, the Abyssinian wizard, who has a, fam a, a bird familiar on her shoulder. I don't know how well you can see it, um, but she's got a bird familiar on her shoulder in the mini. Uh, Paucus, the Bobtail Barbarian. Brooke, the Scottish Fold Cleric. Whisper, the Sphinx Sorcerer. Oh, here, so here's another uh, Sphinx Sorcerer, although we already have a Whisper figure, I thought. Anyway, and Cleo, the Bengal Ranger. Oh my god, I have so many cute animal minis, you all. I can't. Um, yeah. That was... That was delightful. That took longer than I intended for it to, and I apologize for that, but thank you all for hanging out. Thank you, huge thank you, uh, to, uh, Steamforged Games. There we go. Um, who sent me all this cool stuff. Uh, Cleo's a missed opportunity. Should have been a Necro Wiz, right? Uh, huge thank you to Steamforged for sending me all this stuff. I can't wait to try and use some of it in some of my games. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm not partnered with Steamforged, so I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, Ross was kind enough to send me some product, um, that I wanted to show off to you all. 
so, you know, nothing that you all need to do. Uh, if any of it is interesting, by all means, you know, go get you some. Um, but yeah, no, like, affiliate links or anything like that. Uh, Ross did a nice thing. I wanted to do a nice thing back. Yeah! Oh, hi. Hello, Tanya. You are just in time for us to... Play the Mass Effect. We are back to playing the Mass Effect. Where's the game? Okay. Uh, yes, we did that. Yes, we did that. Okay. Oh, oh, we get the full name on this one. We are back to reading mail. Communications from Jal Amadarov. My goodness, Pathfinder Rider. A manifest of items that I've brought aboard your ship, the Tempest. Number one, blankets and bedding in the event your unfamiliar alien bedding is insufficient or uncomfortable. Two, a small number of personal projects. These are bits and pieces of Angaran tech and weaponry. Three, 25 jugs of nourishment paste. This will need to be replenished regularly. Wow. Uh, number four, armor, including my two Rothjin. Unknown alternative cape suspenders, right, which we've seen before. And equipment to repair them. Vials of salves, creams, and perfumes. <laughs> I can provide your science officer with a list of ingredients if that's required. I've also bought my personal weapon, a cat rifle. I've been issued an Omni tool, which I am currently calibrating. I hope that this list is compliant. Excellent. Love it. Oh, we're definitely going to read this one. Yoga poses from Lexi. Rider, given the amount of high-impact cardio in your exercise routine, I recommend spending five to ten minutes a day stretching to open your hips and relieve tightness in the lower back. God, that sounds nice right now. The poses I've listed should do nicely. Not to sound elitist, but while it's true humans invented yoga, the Asari perfected it. I tried these and everything in my body popped and I felt called out. Oh, maybe I should try them then. Current's bow. Standing, spread your legs apart, turn one foot outward, take a deep breath. On an exhale, bend your torso towards the outward facing foot until your hand meets your ankle. Hold it for five seconds and then switch sides. Okay. Oops. Tavura's embrace, lying on your back, bring your feet together until there's a diamond of negative space between your legs, palms against the floor, push your hips forward, but be careful not to overextend yourself. And the matriarch's pose, kneeling, take a deep breath, on the exhale, bring both hands together to form a triangle. Oh. On the second inhale, swing arms overhead and bend forward until your torso is between your thighs. Hold for three breaths, reaching farther with each exhale. Please let me know if you need diagrams or vids. That was less funny than I imagined, but also very fun. Attached is my Krogan thesis that I mentioned to you. I know, only 500 pages, but I wasn't allowed to go over. If you get through it, I wrote a longer dissertation for the Citadel Journal of Medicine around 1,400 pages. That's much more insightful and includes mating diagrams. How do I request it? Stress-relieving hobbies. Okay, Lexi, I'm encouraging all crew members to take up stress-relieving hobbies. Especially you. Everyone's a lot of under pressure. What? Almost. All the words were there. Taking up knitting may, see may seem a waste of time. Such activities release endorphins. They clear clutter from our brains so we can solve tough problems and make better decisions. Just some ideas below. Gardening, reading, knitting, crocheting, coloring, painting, journaling. 100% my wife. <laughs> yes, Tuesday on... Yes, let's do it. Matriarchs uh, pose, everyone. Matriarchs pose. Matriarchs, what? Pose. Yes, I was right. Uh, been immensely helpful finding common ground, but also highlighting the difference. The Geth didn't need the quarry to survive, but can cannot carry out. Still don't like... Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're getting over it, Lexi, because Sam is basically a person, so... I spoke to Jal. He seems to accept the process of exaltation cannot be reversed. That's good. I apologize if I was harsh before. Get a little passionate. I know you're only trying to help. Oh, I must believe what the evidence tells me. Okay, but thank you for checking. Man, Lexi sends us a lot of emails that we don't read, huh? Appreciate you coming to find me on the Nexus. I apologize for running off. Oh, it's fine, yeah. <laughs> One day when things calm down, we should get drinks for real. Unwind, like friends. Purely platonic, of course. Oh, part of the overseeing the crew's physical and mental welfare. Oh my God, tips for a balanced diet. Given the large amount of exercise, it's important that your body receives the nutrients it needs. Five to 11 servings of carbs, four to five of fruit, three of protein, and one or less of fats. That sounds like a very boring diet. Man, Ryder, I thought I knew guns, but this ain't Garin shit. They really know how to make things to point and shoot. 
was eyeing a couple on Io when we were there. Sidearm called a Zephyr and a sniper rifle. Ishiray, I think they called it. Looked fancy, but I guess they even their shivs are fancy. Glad we found aliens who know how to fight. Not sure how I feel if Andromeda was nothing but Pyjax or, uh, Elcor. Damn it, Drac. I'll take Ket over those chumps. Drac! About your dad. Drac has attached 37 images of various rifles and shotguns. Two are duplicate image. Many are low res or watermarked. This is how Drac cheered us up when he heard that our dad died. And I think it's perfect. Matriarch credits. Uh-oh. Is that a thing that we read and missed or what? Matriarch. Oh. Nope. Meeting with Oxul. Hmm. Well, okay, if we see something about matriarch credits. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's... Oh, here we... Here it is, okay. Uh, last time I was on Kadar, I met this Asari at Kralas who said she'd let me in on a little score. He tried, but he doesn't get the space Google. <laughs> Apparently, there's this matriarch who came over on the Nexus. Only she died in stasis. My contact says she's next in line for the old lady's credits. A lot of credits. And get this, she says she'll split him with me. Trouble is, there's red tape. Damn it, Drac. Transfer fees, and she's having trouble mustering up the credits to clear them. Asked me if I could cover the transfer cost. Tried to bring Vetrain on this, but she says it's a scam. I'm not so sure. Seems like a pretty good opportunity to me. It was a scam. Do me a favor. Don't tell Vetra. <laughs> Incredible. I love it. Pathfinder Rider. What is this? Oh. Sure. Okay. The ambassador. Fine. Please keep looking. Oh, yes. I know. We're, we're looking for the Asari Ark. Don't worry. Remnant of a meteoroid. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it unnerves you, huh? Similar charge as the Scourge. That seems useful. We could learn from it, probably. Uh, thank you. This is from Amard. Aww. Well, that's nice. Uh, from Suvi, I'm so glad we chatted. Whenever I meet someone who just... Okay, great. Vetra, thanks for listening to me. Yep, you're good. Only thought to clarify. I know I said something about back channels being what I do, being on the Nexus, because survival isn't pretty... I'm here to help you. So I won't do it. Simple as that. Aw, oh, Vetra. Uh, this is about Kadara. One of my friends sent a list of tips for surviving on Kadara. They're mostly common sense, but there are some gems. No one knows who the charlatan is. Asking's dangerous. Sure. So it was from some dude from the UK said his niece would come stay with me. What? Be really careful dealing with Sloane and anyone who works for her, sure. Politics on Kadara, less about who's got the biggest stick. All of us said that wrong. And more about who's willing to use the sticks they have in creative ways. Amazing. There's a hole in the wall place in the slums that makes the best cup of Kiloa. Do not mix Kiloa with other stimulants no matter what anyone says. Human simile. Don't ask Umi the bartender to surprise you. Incredible. Uh, from Leon, just putting this one out here. I had a friend in Hustle, Dondi. We were clearing a hospital after an earthquake. She got hit with a chunk of rebar, split her helmet, kept going. Four minutes, technically dead, but we got her into emergency stasis. Thing is, because they're so good at patching people back up, she was back with us in a week, and she shouldn't have been. Sure, Dondi's a vet. She's seen some shit, but you don't walk that off. She worked at that quake site for a week, then disappeared for five months. She came back, but different. The other vets, they knew. Take your time if you need it. You don't die and just shake it off. Aw, Liam... Liam has included a list of media-themed to survivors. Genres include war documentaries and a series of Solarian short films about the Ever Alert. I can only assume that that included the show Survivor. Which is very funny. <laughs> Liam. Subject line. Thanks for listening. Text. Enough said. Costa. Oh my god. Making context. Heads up, first thing I did after Aya, figure out who to talk to because we're not on the ground, right? Uh, low console Varen. If you see any messages from her, it's just me reaching out. Okay. Liam has included a list of media themes to first contact. Yes. Genres include hard science fiction and a sorry bit about first contact with humanity titled How They Must See Us. I love Liam and his attachments. In case you were wondering, I have better taste in men than I do in women. Reyes. Huh? Huh? 
you're making waves. Spread the word at Tartarus and port of your expert handling of the Rokar. I only made a few embellishments and left out my involvement, of course. I wouldn't want to steal your spotlight. Not that I really could. You're something else, right there. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, do, 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 do. From PB the Chill, it says in her sunlight. Thank you, Steph. Typically, I don't write things like this down. And if I do, I certainly don't send it and rel relinquish control of its use, but I kind of wanted this uh, recorded for posterity. What we did, floating like that, figuring out how, and then figuring out how to make each other crazy, that, oh, this is PB, not writer, was fun. You relaxed and invigorated me all at once. PB. <laughs> yes, you're welcome, Pee. Ah, PP, the creator. Ah, oh, Sundew! <laughs> I have to say, feeling pretty good about myself. Pock is the first thing I've made that I doubt I'll get tired of, and that's saying a ton, believe me. <laughs> Someday, when we've got this Remtech all figured out, Pock's gonna blow people's minds. Not sure why I decided to write this to you? Strange impulse that. Hmm, have to noodle on that for a little while. One more try from Gil, the Angara. Have a bara. Where PB got tipsy. She's a flirt. Even alert. But sauced, she's a pixie. 60 hours straight of keeping your ship afloat, does it show? Oh, poor Gil. PB did use noodle. Different context, but still used it. You know how I hear searching for me true purpose? Me true purpose? Yeah, poetry ain't it. Helios, are you hearing us? Oh, okay, these we read in opposite order, but that is okay. Gil's poems. Worked 42 hours straight. Ship's humming. Called it quits to get a little shut-eye, but I'm wide awake here. Figured I'd use the time to practice my poetry. Didn't know I practiced poetry? Well, neither did I. Probably because I don't. Here it goes. Helios, are you healing us? Or will we regret ever coming? Because the cat are forever bumming our space. Wait a minute, is that actually good or has the analytical sphere of my brain fallen asleep? <laughs> Incredible. Hi, Ryder. Quite the rescue. The Tempest isn't intended for those kinds of operations. Oh, Kahlo. Patient, markedly driven. Okay, nothing particular there. Uh -huh, for those enemies, uh -huh, something that gets me. I can't something about the rep uh -huh. remnant artifacts the Archon have. This isn't just a mission for him, it's an obsession. Yeah, we noticed. I blame you. Oh, okay. You know that guy Bailey you ran into on the Nexus? Whatever you said to him, he decided to reach out to me. Gil, I hope you're well. Our time working together on the Nexus was invigorating, and I'm sure you're invigorating your colleagues on the Tempest now. I envy them and your Pathfinder. I suppose the work you're doing now and the pioneers you're supporting need and probably deserve to be invigorated more than the rest of us. It drones on for six pages like that before he asks me if I'd like to get a drink. I feel invigorated now, don't you? <laughs> I feel bad, but also I don't. Okay, and hey, we made it through all of them. I never want to see another email again. But we did, we made it through all of them. Um, all right, now what am I? It's wild. Call, yeah, I will. I <laughs> Check your email and respond to Reyes. Oh, okay, I guess we gotta go have a conversation with Reyes now. You have AVP outstanding Damn. Pathfinder. Oh, yeah, we should do this first, I guess. Uh, I do have a point. Hell yes. Give us, yes. Give me that good, good inventory capacity. <laughs> yes, up to 200. Okay, great. Should send these guys out. We're gonna do this quick. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Ooh, we got a gold one now. Except what? It's gonna be like, yeah. Oh, just go. I just wanna see what happens. Sure. 
I'm pretty sure there's some actual dev office emails in there. In fact, Lexi sounds exactly like HR planning an office party. I love that. Hello. Great. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. I know. Hi, Ryan. Ryder, I was just thinking about you. I'd love to hear more, but this isn't a private channel. Uh? I could tell you over drinks. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. Please? I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? Sloan doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. Are you asking me out? I promise to be a perfect gentleman. No need for that. And if I don't want you to be a gentleman? That can be arranged. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. Okay. 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 Ryder, we have to change. We cannot go down there looking like this. Also, we're absolutely going to do this right now. We couldn't digest it without heavy processing. You know what we haven't done in a while, and we've only got six days to do three more. I hope I didn't miss it. Okay. Ryder, we have to change. We cannot. Go no, I don't. I don't want to. Like no, no, no. I don't. Also, no, no, no. I don't want this. this. Please stop. Create moment. Oh wait, no shit, no ah! Balls. I I hope it's okay. Uh, so I tried to create a moment. I might have missed it. I might have waited too long. I'm sort of curious, and I want to go check. Sorry, that's annoying. <laughs> but I want to go check. Let's see if I can edit this moment and open it up back. Uh, make sure that you claim it. I think you've got just a couple of moments. A minute. Um, no, you need to Cannot. not make noise. Um, so do make sure that you claim it from the... Oh, I did catch it all. Good. Uh, make sure that you claim it in chat so you get a little badge for it. Okay, I'm just gonna get basically the whole call, I think. Sorry, I don't usually do this edit until after the stream, but now I'm in it and I have to finish it or it'll go away. Sorry, y'all. I found it. Sorry, y'all. This is not interesting, but... Okay, great. Uh, what are we calling this? Badged! Hooray! Um... Ray has asked us out. We don't need no stinky... Oh, wait, we do. We do, in fact. Okay, great. Sorry, I don't normally edit those things until after, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I not screwed it up. Uh, there you go. So y'all got three of them now. We got two more to use this month. We'll see what we come up with. Uh, hi. Yes, can we please land on Kadara? Shitload of dimes. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Wow, it's a much prettier planet now that we don't have spicy water everywhere. Um, okay, where is Arrayus? Okay, well, we'll also do that. Oh, great. Okay, well, we'll do that on our way then, won't we? No, we didn't change! Oh, well. Guess this is what we're wearing to dinner. God, Reyes is never going to let me hear the end of that, nor should he. To be honest. Ryder Reyes date can finally use the <laughs> a blast of a time. Oh god. Oh, 
It appears festivities are underway. Mr. Rodal asked you to meet him at the entrance. Right, but what I want to do first is apparently get beer from... It's fine, I think. Not you. I'm so confused. Get beer from the bootleggers at Kadara Port. Okay, I would love to. Could you tell me where they are? Shit. Can't jump, so it isn't up there. Okay, we're gonna go into this party because I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'll worry about it later. <laughs> yes! Thank you, Steph. Hold up. This is a private event. <laughs> I'm here with someone in this fucking outfit. I'm meeting a friend. Not without an invite. He's with me. Reyes Vidal. Go on in. Reyes Vidal. I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Remember what I said about fashionably late? Shh. Introduce me to your companion. Maybe he does. Meet Kima Dorgan. Hello. The Angaran representative to Sloan and uh, a friend. I didn't think Reyes had friends. Only contacts and colleagues. Oh, I'm those as well. Whoop. Who do you think secured him an invitation to this event? Fair I was enough. hoping he'd bring you, Pathfinder. You're all he talks about lately. Really? Is that so? Sorry to cut this short, but I need to take care of something. Yeah, I bet you do. Abandoning me already? It won't take long. There are important players here tonight. You should mingle and make a good impression. You treat all your dates this way? <laughs> or am I special? <laughs> that was so much better. To... Promise. Cut this short, like these scenes. And there he goes. Any idea what he's up to? It's better not to worry about what Reyes does. Yeah. Enjoy the party. I don't. I don't like that though. Okay. Guess we're mingling. I don't particularly want to mingle with Sloan, if I'm honest. I guess I will. I see that Kytus needs to vet the guest list more thoroughly. Relax, your majesty. A ah. friend invited me. I'm only here for the drinks. You can freeload like everyone else. But don't cause trouble. Pathfinder's honor. Just go. Yes. I just talked to you. I'll talk to you. One wrong move and you're out. I'm on my best behavior. Message received. Loud and clear. Because you I don't dislike too much. Keep a low profile. Sloan's already going to give me hell. Yeah, she is. Good to see you again, Pathfinder. I know, we just were talking. It's wild. <laughs> this is an interesting prompt. I hope these pirates haven't given you a bad view of my people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I judge individuals, not groups. You, for example, I like. Not sure about who you work for, but I've learned to keep my options open. You never know who might end up in charge. Exactly. What's it mean to be an Angaran representative to Sloan? Sloan relies on me to provide an Angaran perspective. Does she listen to you? Only in extreme cases. She makes a show of being pro-Angaran, but her priority is well, the outcasts. I mean, sure. She throws these parties to mollify my people. It won't work forever. How did you meet Reyes? Do you tell. The only way anyone meets Reyes Vidal. Through business. Fair enough. His skills are very valuable in Kadara Port. Are you part of the resistance? No. Ever and I share information. Oh, interesting. Kadara's problems come first. Interesting. If war breaks out between the collective and the outcasts, it will be my people who suffer. Yeah. Have you seen Reyes? No, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. He likes you. 
I know. I've gotten that impression. And he thinks he's so subtle. Does he? Nice talking to you, Kima. Likewise, Pathfinder. Reyes, Reyes, where are you? No answer, but I believe he headed to one of the side rooms when we arrived, Pathfinder. He did. Let's see what he's up to. Oh. We came way further in than I thought we did. Damn it. Why can't the serial numbers be in the same spot? Reyes. Take the night off. Come out for a drink. Should have known you were up to something. Ryder, it's not what it looks like. So you I don't know what it looks like. Is a distraction so. to go through Sloan's stuff? Oh. I'm okay with that. Oh, okay, yes. But it's for both our benefit. I You've promise. been making a lot of promises. Shit, someone's coming. We need a distraction. I mean, I got you covered. Oh my god, kiss him! Hmm. I almost missed that. Hmm. No, oh. no, not the weird <laughs> shove the model's heads together kiss. Sorry. I think we're in the clear. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea of my ass. Maybe another kiss? Just to be sure. <laughs> now you're just teasing me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm asking you to kiss me again. I don't, why is that? What are you talking about? Finally. Here it is. Better be good. Uh, that's what this was all about? Whiskey? The only bottle of Mount Milgram in Andromeda. Triple distilled and 645 years old. This isn't whiskey. It's Thank treasure. you, Fluffy. Exactly. Yeah, I do. Exactly that, Steph. All you have to do is tell us. Oh no, sharing is caring. You have. You don't have a problem. This is I great. I hope you're planning on sharing. Huh. We'll see. <gasps> Let's get out of here. Ah, holding hands, and I look ridiculous. Like actually absurd. Gorgeous, isn't it? We just stole that 645-year-old whiskey and are just drinking it out the bottle? Is okay. Andromeda everything you hoped it would be? Got its perks. Every day is an adventure. Even my nights off are interesting. What about you? Why did you come here, Reyes? Ryder stepped out of a... <laughs> to be someone. Reyes. You're someone to me? I'm starting to think that kiss was more than just a distraction. Yeah. It was an invitation, don't ask, let's go. Yeah, really just A plus shit, right, Nizam B? <laughs> Wait for trouble to come calling? No thank you? What the fuck kind of mission objective is that? Oh god, we gotta do this again. Okay. Well, that was exciting. Oh, here we go. That's what I was supposed to read. Got it. When the initiative failed us, hmm, that's not a door. <laughs> oh, but that is. Ah, uh, Bioware romance. Yeah, it also like I like Reyes. I really liked the take on PVs in my uh, anti-gravity naked times. Uh, Cause like Reyes is great, and and sure, Reyes might be a great guy who we like have feels for. We've known Reyes like a week. <laughs> We should go hard on the romance there at the end, but it's fine. Oh, you want me to go to a different planet for your boots, huh? Is that what I'm getting? Got it. Okay, well, we can go to a different planet. That's fine. To the... What time is it? 
525. What do we want to do? One of those Star Wars romances. I'm on the same ship as you, kiss. <laughs> Whoops. What do I want to do? I mean, we have lots of stuff we could do on Kadara if we want to stay on Kadara. We go anywhere in the talking stage. The talking stage includes making out. Oh, for sure. Oh, look, I'm not upset that we made out. I just mean that some of the dialogue was like very heartfelt. That, and it felt a little, I mean, it like, I, I don't know. It's a little premature. Not the kissing. <laughs> Hmm. Who doesn't like neon green? The outfit is not so unrealistic today. My third date was she was dressed in all out Beetlejuice costume. Incredible. Incredible. Um. I don't know. Should we do this on EOS? It's literally the only thing we have left to do on EOS, and we've only got twenty or thirty-five minutes, so I don't. I don't think we need to start a main quest today. Um. So let's go back to EOS, and because we couldn't defeat whatever enemy that third seismic hammer made attack us, but I, we've leveled a lot since then. I think we'll be okay. I do my best, fair. I do my best. Quick. It's an emergency! I must get out of these paths as soon as possible. Goodness me. Alright. Eos. Hello? Hello. I'm orbiting Gadara. Nah, well, let's not, shall we? We got smooches! <laughs> Ooh, I'm surrounded by all these fun minis. I really like the Lich Empress one. It does kind of make me want to pay them, and I do still have a bunch of paints from um, Slod Paint Night. All the Slods that Sam and my friend Kelsey and I did are all here on my desk. So I have a bunch of those paints left, I guess, if I really wanted to try and do something. Oh no, we just did a thing. I don't need a thing again. Okay. Uh, oh, I wanted to switch this. Let's just put this one in real quick because I want some comparisons. Less di no, okay, then we don't want. All right, we'll try the Vanquisher. Why not? Oh wait, but we need to put mods in, don't we? Uh, no, we don't like anything with red if we can avoid it. Sure. We should find a better one of those, but sure. Uh, great. Yeah, we sold everything else. Oh, right, we can add a third weapon if we want. I forgot about that. I'm okay. <laughs> Hashtag fashion! Uh, those are fine. All right, what are we doing? We're going to Eos. So why don't we have... Jal should come see Eos. And, God, I really don't ever feel the need to bring the humans. So let's bring Draken. <laughs> the scent is green. Why? Is there something down there? What's green? Coordinator, What's that green on? Path is calm. Yeah, Liam probably would have been a good choice too, but you know how I feel about humans. <laughs> Except for Reyes, apparently. I look, that's that's how we live our lives here, Steph. I don't I avoid main questing at all costs. Uh, because the more we main quest, 
the closer we get to the end of this game, and I just, I don't want it to be over. Uh, for lots of reasons. Most of them about how I enjoy it. And one of them, because I have no idea what we're playing next. Okay. It was epic and sort of unnecessarily so, it feels, but all right. Where are you? What is this? Oh, I forgot about that. It's not actually what I want to do right now. If I'm... Wow, there are so many things to do here, which I was under the impression was not the case, but it's fine. Oh, mercifully, there is a fast travel point right there. Go to a spot where if you do much more main quest, you will be at the end. Yeah, I, um, I did look at what I did. I got a list of priority missions so that I would have a sense. And we're further along in the story of the game than I thought we were. So yeah, that is another reason, Dragon Mustang, is I do have to be kind of careful. <laughs> um, I have not, Sam has, and I've seen him play Zero Dawn. Um, neither of us have gotten our hands on Forbidden West yet. Um, but I really enjoyed watching, making an impression, right? Uh, I really enjoyed watching Sam play the first one. Uh, definitely looks like a game that could be up my alley. All right, let's save, because we also haven't done that in a hot minute. Dragon Age again, right? Oh, God. I love that game. I don't know if I can do it all the way through again. Last hammer. This should finish the job. Everyone ready? Oops. I did not mean to activate that quite so quickly, but okay. Fucking Christ. Got to live it a couple hours ago, and I am ready. Ooh, love the shit out of it, Dragon Mustang. You have to tell us what you think. Uh, you don't have to. If you would like to, after you play it. I would suggest Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, I tried actually to play it off stream. This man is yelling at us. I'm really glad I brought Drac. Everything is up Everything sucks when it's a giant remnant. Cannot be called in here. Yeah, well, no shit. It made more. It made more. It's a real problem. No. You noodle. How dare you? Uh oh. Look me. Where am I? Damn. The head's open. Oh, the head's open. Let's run away. I 
cannot believe. Oh, man, that's awesome. Draconite just wailing on it. Jal and Drac are gonna die, but also you told me to follow it, so I'm following it. How far away are you planning on going, my dude? Okay, great. That was a very graceful landing for such a big event, so, you know, credit where it's due, truly. Take the legs. I know.
Come on, we're so damn it, close. Reloading! No, you closed, you absolute dick. Ah. Oh. More remnants are coming. Could they not, though? Could they just, I don't know, not? <laughs> I really like teaming up with melee and drag with drag for melee combat. I'm also absolutely sure uh, that you all are saying hilarious and wonderful things in chat, and I'm so sorry that I can't be privy to them right now. Is vomiting a minion considered for the party belt? It is now. Don't let it get away. Yes, Drac, we know. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are you heading? And can we get there fast? Because I would just like for this fight to be over. Oh, okay, well, ask and you shall receive, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm not aiming for shit right now. damage to me, which makes me very nervous. is out of ammo. That's exciting. Ah! Oh no! Okay, come on, let's go. Get closer. Oh, fucking. Where? Your ass nullifier. Oh, 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 I reloaded. Excellent, excellent news. Come on.
Yeah, go look at somebody else while I wait for this to charge. interface with it. Okay, good. Not what I was expecting, but... Wow. Ryder, it's Hanley back at the outpost. The seismic readings just went crazy. What happened? A remnant the size of a building. What? At least you made it and kept that thing away from the outpost. Nice well, work. Well, I, I don't know what I... where I sent it. If I'm being totally honest. That was thrilling. Put the gun away. It makes you walk funny. I don't know where it went, and I'm not not concerned about that answer. You okay? Rack, what are you doing? Oh my god. You guys, it was a bug. Oh, no, no. Target's down. Okay, I guess it's a little more than a bug. Hey, Drac, you really don't have to... Okay, you know what? Have fun. Well, that's true. He does just sort of walk funny. Oh, let's scan some new minerals, because they're right here, and... It's a bad little cleanup. Me whenever there's a spider in my <laughs> I can see it. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you approve, I guess. Whew! That was a fight! Undocumented mineral nearby, Pathfinder. No, it's not that one, because I think that's just iridium. Oh, or it's platinum, but in any event. Somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot we don't. S oh, no, we do scan this. Ooh, it's some Ezo. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm excited to take a look at my uh, inventory to see what good loots I got from that fight, which, you know, better have been worth it. <laughs> okay, let's go get the car is somewhere over here, apparently. Come on. My god, you're running slow, my dude. Where did we leave the car? Oh, right, because we moved sites several times. Yeah, I saw that too, Kosim. Uh, I'm curious to find out what that is. Nope, I forgot we're going after this box. <laughs> that was fun. Box. You will 
welcome to this world. Few of us would come, even without the kit. Y'all want to take care of that bug that's coming for us while I open this up and see what's in there? Oh, all right. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. Please tell me you all took care of the bug, or the orb, alternatively, that the bug has decided to leave us alone. Uh, sure. Let's put another drop station down, because this seems easy to get to. You acquired new Blasto... T <laughs> Blasto pan. <laughs> oh, Blasto. We hardly knew ye. Mean. I was having a delightful time throwing my car off the edge of a cliff and you won't let me? I guess I threw it a little too hard. Activating automated forward station deployment. Excellent. Do that. And I guess we're going to see what the hell this is. Since we're here. Wow, do these things not get run? Are they like cock? Can they not die? What's happening? I rolled over that so slowly just now. Okay. Oh, you're invisible, but I can see you because my car's cool. That's fun. Man, I got you with all six tires, and you're still alive. Oh, no, you're not. We're not alone. Yeah, I know. There's, like, bugs everywhere, and you guys are throwing bombs at them. So, like, that feels like it's just sort of exacerbating the problem, if I'm being completely honest here. Where do these forward stations come from? No, I think they're on... Oh, I guess they must be on the Tempest. To get here that quickly. No, they can't be on the Tempest. The Tempest is on the ground here in Eos. I have no idea, Sindhu. I guess the next logical thing would be from the Nexus, but, like, that's so far away. Oh, this looks like a fun little journey that we are going to take now. No! No! Oh, shit. Eh, itch. Okay, so the annoying thing is it doesn't seem like I can grab onto the edges of these, which is a little confusing, but sometimes I hop anyway. I'm confuzzle. I am confusion. Okay, see, like that works just fine. That does not. Feels like I'm. This way. Yeah, that's great. Okay, great. Should we go this way maybe? No, because that's definitely taller, right? Let's just take a little run up to it. Okay, you boys have to move immediately. Aha! There we go. Oh, that makes sense, Sequoia. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. Excellent shot. Thank you. I would love to shoot this one. There we go. Let's do this. <laughs> we did it. Amazing. Okay. Oh, right, this makes a bridge. You're gonna keep making a bridge, right? Okay. <laughs> Where did you come from? That was not very nice. Yes, 
I gotta go invisible till I find out who. Oh, you. Damn, that's got some range on it, huh? Bridge? Yes, bridge. Love to see it. Oh, really? You're gonna make bridges over here, but not to that. That seems suspicious, but okay. Well, this, this is the right, right place. Oh, Let's okay, find good. the tech we're after. Thank you for that line, Ryder, because I wasn't sure. Drachne the noise Drake makes when y'all are going into battle really sounds like someone beefed it on a skateboard. <laughs> Here's the Remtech PB needs. Nice. PB, first Is that piece all secure. That's here. Got a line on the next? My scanner picked up one on so. Navarro. Whenever you want to go. We claim this site, initiative scum. Sorry? Outlaws. Guess we're not the only ones interested uh, in this tech. Okay. Well. Excuse me, just a second. I just need to. You're not gonna let me right now. All right. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Are we good now? Damn outlaws always want what someone else has. <laughs> we got the piece we came for. We can move on. Okay. I guess we're moving on. Please stop shooting. I'm trying to do science. Um, oh, I also never did manage to science this thing. Yeah, but that isn't true. Is the is the only thing about it. Okay, great. Thank you. Right. Looks like a remnant container. Yeah, I know. I see it. I'm just trying to get all their shit, too. Uh, oh. Wait, I thought I saw it. Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. I haven't any lube in a while. I'm just saying. <laughs> you heard me, doesn't. <laughs> okay, and nothing to scan up on these babies. Uh, no. Oh, and it's time. What? What a nice. Oh, we're so close to 100% viability on this planet. I can taste it. Uh, all right. We are at time, however. So I think that is where we're going to leave it. Um, I've also got a meeting in half an hour that I need to make it to. Uh, so. On time is uh, the best choice. Um, what share? Where shall we go to hang out now? I will not join you, like I said, I have a meeting that I gotta get ready for. But I will drop you all off. Who knows why Drac is doing leaps? He's anxious to kill more things. I don't know. Oh, that's good. My, there we go. Oh, let's go hang out with Happy Capster, uh, with Maria, who is doing a thirteen-hour charity stream today so we should give all of the support that we can uh so we're gonna over that go over there and hang out with happy capster who is currently playing it appears rogue legacy so we're gonna head over there um what's up this week tomorrow night inscription things are super weird if you don't want spoilers and have not been hanging out with us on wednesday nights and watching me play through inscription maybe don't start showing up now uh because last week we got to the point in the game that's like the big like the first I don't know if there are more or not, but like one of the huge uh, 
twists, spoilery twist things. Um, so if you uh, if you aren't coming, uh, or if you haven't been coming, maybe don't. Um, Thursday, I will be back here. I got an email. There might we might have a slight change in programming on Thursday. As soon as I know details, I will let you all know. Sunday is Rivals of Waterdeep, and then Familiar Quest is on hiatus for a few weeks. But go watch Idol Champions presents Courts of the, Sh of the Raven Queen. Um, should be awesome. Also, if you're looking for something else to do tonight, after we hang out with Maria for a little while, at 8.30 tonight is the first episode of Fluffy's Ravenloft campaign that's over on the Talon and Claw channel, and you should write Talon and Claw. Uh, I have my... Oh, yes, exactly. If you think tonight, Ravenloft campaign, 8.30, Talon and Claw. Ooh, I got it right. Um, so go hang out with Fluffy if you are looking for some creepy, crawly, excellent D&D tonight. Uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Twitch.tv slash Talon and Claw. Um, and yeah, we're about to raid over it. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow night for inscription. Stay safe, stay healthy, get vaxxed, get boosted, wear your masks. Happy gaming, y'all. <laughs>